Oh, yeah. We upgraded the... I completely forgot about that. And it looks amazing. Hey. Oops. Okay. Now then, we're not running around like this. No, 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 no. Should be over 60. Oh, and my message is gone. Okay, that works. Now we can be cowboys, baser, or something new. We could go for something new today. Yeah, the demon horns is a good start. I like that. And we don't have that many pants. We have the jumpsuit trousers. Oh, they don't even work. Oh, We have the stockings and the belt. The belt works quite well, I think. Now, just for the chest. The tent stop, the bricks tent. The tank top. Yeah. Yeah. That, that kind of works. We can do that. I just need another color. And this is going to be easy peasy. Because we have the coloring tool in the inventory. Oomph. Now then, I can decide on which color we want to go with. And how about simple brown? Simple. Ah. It works, but how do I change the color of the top? That's the fun thing. I can't. Oh well. Dice blowed? What? Pixels! What just happened? <laughs> okay, I did explode in a variety of colors. Um. Oh shit. Okay, that thing is more dangerous than I expected. I, I didn't know you can die from that. My stuff! Come on. Whee! Hello! Oh yeah, all, all this is just laying around. Wonderful. <laughs> but the game is more smooth than last time. I like that. Okay, it did, it did give us quite a few dice. Not sure if I want them, but we have them. Oh, we already have um, this around. Let's put the dice in here, shall we? Alright, and the dying suit was... Wasn't it here? Was, uh, where's the dying suit? Uh, where's the item? Ah, there's the item we just had. Okay. Now that we have everything we could need, what are we going to do today? Because I have no idea. <laughs> I've been, um... How do I say that? I've been a little creative today, and that led to me not really making a plan for this. Ooh, we found a teddy. Cute. Um, ba bum in here, we could have an ornate lantern. Lantern. I mean, it gives some light, and it's not too bad. We can do the same on here. It works. It works. Could be far worse. All right, I'm for some improvements on the. Um, not on the ship, on the, on the, on the, here, steampunk planet. Uh, for that, we beam up and beam down again. 
Okay, since we had some decorations last time, I think some advancements today would be quite nice. And if we can decorate a little bit in the process, I wouldn't be against that. Uh, oh yeah. <gasps> right. We, uh, we want to get all of this as well. Right. How about... Oh, I know a fancy goal for today. Diamonds. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. We're going to steampunk. And we're trying to find a way to generate automatic diamonds. It can be a chance of 0 0.001% uh, or whatever. But just any way that will generate us... Well, any form of diamond, actually. So that we can at least buy the generate um, the teleportation cores. A diamond. So for that we either need a diamond sample, which no, diamond block, which no, crystalline honeycomb. I never played around with bees and honey. That could be interesting. Honeycomb as well. Ash pile and volcanic ash. That would be the easiest to get, I feel. A geode crystals, volcanic rock. Okay, gleamstone, dead core. Oh, dead core. The first game I played on stream ever. Good times, good times. It's months now. Holy hell. Glow tier crystal and jade crystal block. Okay, let's try the ash pile and volcanic ash. Ash pile, we get by. Ooh. Oh, nothing really. Ultimer, wooden log. Wooden log? Wait, what? Not, not that wooden log. Right? Oh, <gasps> we can already press diamonds by putting the wooden log into, into what? Into the electric furnace? What? I didn't know of that crafting recipe. That must be new, new. All right, uh, let's try it out. How many wooden logs does it need? Two for an ash pile. Are we? Okay, and the ash pile is new to the item network. Uh, we're gonna put it in here because it kind of fits aesthetically. That means we have to bring the wood over. All right then. All right. This will be a temporary setup for now. But that means that we can have way more setups later on. Okay. Actually. Huh? Could use it from back here if we have um, the stuff to transport it. We have power relays, but not item relays. Nah, let's transport it for now. We can put it in here back later. La la la. So we actually okay. It might be it might be a very slim chance to actually get them, but we do have a chance for diamonds. Where do they come from? Uh, maybe not this. This here. <sighs> Hello, little guys. Ah! Wow. He's sturdier than I expected. Nice. Bye bye. Okay, and in here we want uh, the forester. Okay, it only faces one direction. Put a storage bridge on, a bridge on the forester so we can get the items out. And now the question, do we need one or two logs in here for it to do something? If only one log is in, nothing happens, so we need two. Uh, this is the input? This is the input. So one of these things we will not smelt for a while. And I think gold and silver, we don't need that much. Um, let's sort the inventory and see how much gold and silver we actually have. 16 gold, 12 silver. 
I would say silver, we can wait for a moment. I mean, we can just take it all and smell it ourselves. It's not that, that important. I do wonder if they have byproducts. Sil... Uh, silver ore. If we input it into the electric furnace, it gives us silver bar. Silicon and carbon dioxide? Okay, T to get silicon all of this is actually quite good. What with gold? Do we have trace pieces here as well? Um. Damn. Which is the golden... Gold ore. Okay. Gold bar, silicon and carbon dioxide. Okay, they're pretty similar in that regard. Next up, we connect the item storage here with the input. And now watch all of the... Wood? Oh, yeah, right, this thing is empty for now. It only has one piece of wood. Uh, we can change that by giving it half of this. Oomph! And now it took everything. Ah, now we're getting the ash pile. So, since the ash pile is... Okay, okay let's get... Sh let's make it very... Sh um, let's be very sure of what we want here. Since we do want the diamond, what do we do with the ash pile now? We put it into the sifter. We get carbon, tungsten ore, iron ore, copper ore. All of this out of wood? That's amazing! Core fragment, salt, nitrogen, diamond. Hydrogen coal. This is a little bit overkill, I think. But hey. Okay, we don't have that much uh, space to filter for the sifter so we have to uh throw something out i would say dry dirt for now i don't know what dry dirt really gives us but we can include it later again and since we're already at it we do get a second item out of this thing it's not in here yet here it is fuel wood so let's see if we can take the fuel wood for something as well. No, fuel wood doesn't exist for this. Okay, what about plant matter, which we generate as plant fiber? Only water and nitrogen. Which is pretty cool, because it's a way to get water on the spaceship, for example. Um, I don't want to overpower the spaceship too much. I just want easy diamond. Okay, we got the daily goal. Wonderful. That's That was quite quick. <laughs> uh, main uh, frame for mounting and displaying items. A small, slightly weathered wooden crate. Marks containers. Okay. A white wooden box used to store weapons and ammunition. 14 out of 16 slots used. Nice. Outgoing waypoint for the item broadcast network. And a storage with only one slot. Item network compatible. Used to keep everything within 20 tiles loaded while away. If turned on, shuts off when you leave the planet. Avoid overuse will impact performance. Yeah, don't worry about that. Extracts useful materials from most blocks. Requires 10 jewel per extraction. Can be placed on floors or ceilings. On oh, oh, ceilings? Cool. The refinery is used to produce raw pixels from ores. Ah. So we're getting a few items in again. This factory will auto automatically grow, chop and stockpile logs and plant fiber. Allows construction of drillers, palms, resources and specials. This bench allows me to craft frames for items and weapons. A perfectly original and legitimate furniture shipment compact. <laughs> okay, I believe you on, I believe you with that for now. Create powered gear. A uh, few slots used, a few slots used. Alright, one of the goals we had, if I remember right, was to get the investment center. For which we need quite a few things, one of which is the upgrade module. Do we have one spare? We have one spare. Check. Okay, what else? Uh, 
iron bar and three tech cards. Three tech cards. One, two, three. So, an iron we just get. Oh, we didn't... Uh? Oh yeah, the furnace is uh, pretty active with the wood right now, so it doesn't uh, smell the iron. Um, why is the iron not being smelted? Iron goes in. We are connected. Ha! Huh? Oops, no. This thing. Huh? The iron is not moving. So the iron is connected to it. And this is empty. Huh? Excuse me? What is going on here? I mean, I can easily take it out and put it in myself, but that's not the idea. Okay. It just does not want to put in. Did I... misalign one of these? No. Is it turned off or something? No, it shouldn't be turned off because it did take the locks here. Just for comparison, we're putting two locks in. Mm. Here, the locks are put out. Okay, I miss I missed it, but it did process the locks. So so it takes from the locks, but it doesn't take from the chest. And oh, I know. The storage bridge doesn't realize it's a chest because we've got the item frames around here. Yeah, now it's cooking. Now it's cooking. That's the problem with the storage um, bridges, and which is why we're using things like the one slot here. Because you want you want them close to something, but sometimes they can be silly. Because, for example, let me show it with tiles. The um, the frame was over here, which is basically one tile away from the storage bridge. And yet, the storage bridge was reading the contents of the frame instead of the contents of the chest, which is one one slot uh, closer to it. No idea why, but we managed. Alright. Also, that means we've got more iron again. But is it enough? Um, here? Ah, barely. We need five more. Okay, so we can start um, producing the diamond tine. Do we have a furnace here? Not a single simple furnace. Do I have some on me? A simple furnace? Which of these two has the simple furnace? I'm pretty sure I should have one on me. But apparently I don't. Well, okay then. We can just make another. I think... Furnace? Furnace? Where is Furnace? Give me Furnace. General store, cream wall. Ah. Skillet, protogen, magi magicians, distress, metalwork, hammond, alarm, anvil, armorworks, barracks, colony. Factory, foraging, hazard lab, hard furnace, hound, remote shop, item frame, kitchen counter, lectern, blah blah blah, omni, primitive furnace. There we go. Ah, there we go. Wonderful. We need this because in here we can create the diamond tine. Since we need three of them, we need the whole recipe in... Uh, Amounts of three, so three diamonds, uh, twelve electromagnets. Uh, twelve electromagnets. We have one, so we need eleven. We can make five. 
What do I need? Copper wire. Oh, we could make a lot of these. Okay, now I forgot how many we need. Um, ba -bum. 12 electromagnets and I have 6, so we need 6 more of them. Easy peasy. Alright, 6 electromagnets, 3, uh, whoops, 3 diamonds, which we have. And then comes the interesting part, because I forgot how to do that. Boom. Ooh, ice cream. Mm, coconut ice cream. Oh, gimme. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, we need 30 magnesium powder. Mag 30 magnesium powder. Which is just magnesite in the electric furnace. Uh, which has a higher chance than if we put it into the uh, extraction lab. Though, if we put it into the extraction lab, we could get civite and verostin ore out of it. I don't know what verostin ore is, but it sure sounds interesting. Okay, magnesite. Magnesite. Either the oven or the extraction lab. I would rather have it in the extraction lab, not gonna lie. And since the election, uh, extraction lab is not yet connected, I have to do this manually. Although, we don't have that many. I just realized we don't have that many, so putting it into the oven is actually the better option. Depends on how many it uses for intake. The oven uses two and gives us one. Okay. This here uses two as well, it seems. Yep, two as well. For just a chance of it. Ah, uh, that's quite useless. I mean, we do get the powder. But here we have a chance for double powder, and since we need a lot of powder for now, this is what we go with. And we need 30, so that will take a while. Let's put... No, let's keep, let's keep this stuff in the inventory for now. Um, bum bum. I wonder if I have a way to con Um okay we're waiting for a third piece of magnesite so I can automate that. We're just taking the gold out and automate the magnesite production. That means we have to wait quite a time for it uh, to kick into drive, but oh well. For the time being we have a lot of different blocks here. And not all of them we need in the inventory. So something like this here or something else or we can just get rid of so let's collect these here we certainly want to keep fluids we certainly want to keep um, ba -bum. and the regular things for building with stone and glass and the wood Bum, 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 bum. I'm just I'm just sorting a little bit here of what we can get rid of and what we can keep all of this we can get rid okay and we can have it like this wood paneling did we use paneling I'm not too sure if this was uh, one of the wooden parts we really wanted. Um, mm -hmm. This is our cobblestone. Uh, this is our wooden stuff. This is dirt and... 
This is stone as well. No, this is tungsten block. Interesting. Okay, we have to get rid of a few blocks here now. So how about it? Um, this here is extractable or crushable. Where's the difference? I would rather go for the crushable usually. Because I think it just gives more items overall. Uh, oh yeah, the pipes. Right. Let's have the colored pipes around here. Okay, we can move this to the side to not confuse ourselves too much. Or something like frozen dirt can go. Is it extractable? It is extract. Oh wait, it's extractable, not siftable? It's not siftable? Why? It's dirt. So let's smell it instead, I guess. Ah, some wet dirt. Now that makes sense. Okay, we just have to watch out to not clog up our system with something that is undefined. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Meteorite block we can get rid of. Uh, the funny wood we can get rid of. Yeah. Right. Sandstone, we don't need. This is for building. Uh, this is for building, absolutely. Here we have the roofing pieces. Alrighty. So, is one of these a siftable? This here is smeltable. Uh, this does nothing. Okay. Crushable? Uh, crushable and smeltable. I would say I would go for crushable first. Uh, cr crushable as well. This is crushable. This is crushable. Okay, we have two lines of crushable, it seems. More crush. Uh, this would be either crushable or smeltable. And it seems like crushable gives us more stuff. This can't be... This is extractable and siftable. So we're sifting this guy. Okay. Uh, this is only extractable. Interesting. What was that? This is smeltable. Only extractable. Extractable, crushable and smeltable. So we have another crushable. Same for this guy, and we can't do anything with this here. Okay. Let's sort it through a little. So, th with these items, we can't really do anything but save them until we have enough to build with them. Same for this, same for this, same for this. This is crushable, okay. Ah, uh, same for this, like, apparently. Same for this. Another siftable. Cool. This here is only extractable. This is only extractable as well. And with this we're getting rid of a lot of... Oh, more crushables? Of a lot of inventory here. Um... This we can just put into the box. It seems like auto sorted already. Smeltable. Uh, which was smeltable? This here? Yep. Nothing we can do with this. Uh, this here is for decoration. Nothing to do with this. Or this. Or this here. This here is solely extractable. This is for building. Uh, this is for building as well. And this is red sand, which we can keep. Um, extractable and siftable. So here it goes. No, that's meltable. Uh, siftable is down here. Okay, and we want to make sure that everything is going. Right now we don't seem to have the energy for that. Yeah, wind generator is not going at all. And this is off. 
So what we could do is see how much coal we have. A little bit. Uh, the door leads downwards. We don't really have a door up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go here manually. Hello. Ah, good thing we still have the generator going here. Yep. All right. Now the things in here should go. Yeah. This here is the sifter, so we want siftable items in here, and I will start with the snowy ones. The slush and the snow. Oh, a new item, calcium nitrate. Calcium nitrate is an essential element in pesticides and fertilizers. You need some of this stuff if you plan to have a profitable farm. Uh, let's have it here for now, I think. It looks like that's fitting. Nope, oh, nope. Okay, everything's moving fine. And working. Good. This leaves us with uh, two good things. The first, connecting to chat. Am I not connected to chat? Wow. Okay, I'm connected again. Huh. Sometimes I have the feeling Twitch just wants to throw me out. <laughs> Alright, we could centrifuge as well, but there's not really a need. What we could do is use the extraction lab. Which we can't really, because extraction usually with blocks works with uh, 50 blocks is one extraction. And, well, for most of them we have only 40. Um, this should leave us with 21. We don't have the energy for that, it seems. Whoop. Okay, I can showcase that later. We're gonna keep with the small operations here. We need daytime as soon as possible. Oh, a large snowball. We already found some snowballs with gigantic... Oh, okay, so we have four different tiers of snowball. Interesting. Uh, and it's not clogged up anymore. Good, good, good. So stuff is going out just fine. Hmm. Oomf, oomf, oomf. All of this is different stuff, right? Yeah. I don't think we need to save contaminated water, unless there are crafting recipes with it. Uh. Mm. Liquid Arceus fuel is centrifugable, but what would it grant us? Oops. Arceus. If we input it, we could get Crystal Arceus fe uh, Feel out, we could get Toxic Waste. Huh, I remember Toxic Waste being actually useful for stuff, I just don't remember for what exactly. And the Crystal Arceus Feel is, ah, the smallies, which can be put into a pure Arceus Crystal, these guys, and I guess they are for crafting. Okay, let's see what toxic waste is. And if we need it. Yeah, I, I, re I remember needing a lot of this. I just don't remember what for. Oh, yeah. That was the stuff I made uranium with. Right. Oh, oh we're not there yet. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> we're uh, at the, well, kind of humble beginnings. Not... Not really humble, but uh, what can you do? And the next good thing is that we save up on some dirt as well. Oh right, all the dirt is being output and put into the chest. Yeah, four dirt. Uh, could be better. Could be better, could be worse. But a lot of dry sand. Ooh, boy. 
And slowly but surely we're getting rid of stuff. Oh, wait, is it windy enough? It is windy enough! Woo! Uh, not enough for the batteries to fill up it seems, but enough for every machine to work. So we can try and see if this works now. Nope. Nope. Oh, yeah. 21. Told you. It only takes 50. Phosphorus? Huh. That's a new one. Uh, phosphorus we can have somewhere around here. Alright. Oh, it's getting daytime. That means the solar panels are getting power now. Wonderful. I could actually try to get some new batteries. We should have quite a lot of silicon by now. On which battery level are we in terms of research? On the second. What would we need for the third? Ah, titanium. But we could make like three, four, five of um, the second tier. Depending on how much tungsten we want to use up for that. How much tungsten does it take? As we're not currently producing any tungsten. Uh, battery. Oh, battery. Ah, it needs five tungsten per unit. It would be a cool investigate. Uh, invest. <laughs> it would be good to invest this because uh, then it would work at night as well. Uh, but we really, really do not have the tungsten for that. Man. Oh, the sifter is through. That is good news. Time for snow. Yeah, with like 29 silicon. We could have more of the small ones. It's rather silly to do that, but honestly, why not? So I'm gonna take a lot of copper with me. La 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 And on the battery Oh we need sulfuric acid for that Right Sulfuric acid Only through Only if we put sulfur into the extraction lab Okay Yo boom Boom, boom. In terms of sulfur, we have quite a bit actually. Can easily just take half of it. And there we go. It takes one sulfur. Yeah, it seems like we can't have all the machines going at the same time. Oh man. Um, what about another solar panel? Can we make one of them? <laughs> yeah. Tungsten. I know a rather easy way to get more tungsten, but then we have to wait longer for the investment center. But honestly, we could just sell a lot of stuff we get. Yeah, why not? Oh, we only have seven magnesium powder? Do I have any magnesium powder on me? No, I don't. Oh man, so we do have to wait for it. Either that or it could pour down, but I kinda like I kinda like just using the factory since since it's a factory gameplay for us here. Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a radius of 20 tiles. I, I wonder how far it is. 
Will it tell me? No. We could, uh, we should plan the factory out with the watchers in mind. That would be quite helpful. Alright, what is this thing here? Industry work. Ah, yeah, for the doors and stuff. Alright. The frames. not clogging up that is quite good what is taking the energy the, the rock breaker is not even working we have an energy deficiency here quite aggressive one at that oh, another ice cream give me give me man Okay, to be fair, on, only from one solar panel it's really coming in. I have the feeling it's the rock breaker most of the time taking all of the energy. How much does it take? 6 watts versus 2 versus 4 versus 10. Huh. Now it's quicker. So was... I think the extractor was trying to get energy and therefore siphoning it off while not having enough to actually doing something. Interesting. Okay, we have to keep that in mind, I guess. I think we can have the sifter active at the same time. At least I hope we can. Oh! Instead of using that, we do have quite a lot of dry sand. And I have the feeling dry sand will give us a lot of goodies. Oh, the iron already comes in. Okay. Coal. Nice. Cores. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh. So what we really need is another magnesite. Uh, at this point, I would argue it is actually more intelligent to dig down here. Ooh, where do you come from? Sadly, we don't have uh, a ball to capture it. I know, I wanted this as well, but oh well. I'm coming for your pickets. What is this? Fine sand. Oh, can I draw on this? Quick sand. Yeah, I could. Cool. Alrighty, where are your secrets, planet? I want your ores, I want your everything. La, 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 la. Not to mention we also get a lot of sand with this. And that is and that is good because we can process that as well. Mm, some more sulfur. Good for more batteries. Magnesite! Exactly what we need. Thank you. Wonderful. Yeah, we can look around here a little bit. Lead? I haven't found a single use for lead yet. It's cool to have, don't get me wrong, but I'm just wondering for what exactly. <gasps> Oh, Tungsten! Let's go! Uh oh. we That was quite danger. Ow, ow! 
I don't have much room to dodge in here. La, 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 la. Are those just plant blocks? Flower block. Ooh, pretty. Okay, tungsten, but sadly just in the background. I rather need in the foreground. Oh! Okay, we're changing to a plant biome on a desert planet. Oh. Ooh, the secondary attack doesn't really do that much damage. I thought, oh, the little guy doesn't have that much health left, but apparently he was tanking. Look at all the stuff we can sift. I don't know what... Um, what is this? Salt blocks and flower blocks. What they will yield? But it's all new items. Let's go. A little bit of coal as well. And dirt. Wow. For desert planet, this is quite the green biome down here. I take it. Maybe I should keep some of the blocks for the um, for the garden. I want a fluffalo. What are you doing here, little guy? Oh, I cannot. Okay, because he's a tameable, I cannot scan him. He just pooped. How cute. some dirt oh especially dirt oh and dirt we've got all the nice things we want to take back a lot of dirt la 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 and some sulfur as well since we're already at it ah strip the planet naked so we are taking everything Okay, speaking of taking everything, um, first off, there is tungsten. Also, what is this? Contaminated water? Contaminated with what? Okay, cool. It behaves like normal water in the overworld. Oh. Huh. Hey, little butterfly. Please don't run into my mining laser. That would be quite ouchy for you. La 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 la. La 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 la. Nope. We're nice to the wildlife here. We're taking care of everything. Which means we're gonna steal the whole planet. Ah. Hi hi. <laughs> more tungsten. Let's go. Oh, we could make... Uh, now we could make more batteries and solar panels. We, we can start thinking about it. Uh, why do you tempt me like this game? Ow. We're going the long way. You seem dangerous. Okay. And with the watcher still active, the factory should still give us stuff. I cannot wait until we get the first diamond. <gasps> oh, imagine. Oh, we don't have to go to the core anymore to get diamonds. I mean, I do have at least two planets by now where I can e have an easy shortcut to the core. Uh, but I rather want to play it safe, you know. Oh, 
Oh my. Okay, more tungsten, I take. Grenade. Heated smoke grenade. Alright. Module pixels. WMP hand grenade. Alright. And a flamethrower! Ooh, nozzle just. I don't know how strong it is, but I want to try that flamethrower. Wait, what's the difference? The range. This is like far range, but this has a more of a spread to it. Ah, we're taking the far range then. Nice. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> it died and gave me pests. Well, all right then. Okay. Oh, they're glowing. Oh, another fluffalo. Hi there, little guy. That reminds me, I actually want to do something else today. Maybe we we can do that later. Uh, last time we did this um, the smithy on on the main planet. Oh, more guys. Hi. Uh, but I actually wanted to build the farm as well. Because I didn't come around to, uh, to do it last time. Ah, oh, something died. Just ignore the blood. That's quite normal for this place. And here. And time. And everything. La 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 la. Oh, something is dying. Okay, the plants are actually quite dangerous, it seems. Ah, there we go. And instead of just walking back, I'm, I'm doing the easy way. Yo! Two teleports and we're back. Uh, anything we need from here? Anything at all? Anything I can think of? Uh, we've got the wiring station, we've got this biggie here. No, not that I can think. Uh, do we have stuff? Crowbar? The gorilla tooth? Yeah, you can have that. What do we get? Not too much. Kusarigama. Helotal cycle designed for effective chopping. Uh, I don't need. I'm good. Oh, the shovel I want to keep though. Shovel is cool. Um, the grenades. I'm not going to use the grenades. Same with... Then we have other grenades as well. Whiskey bottle? Alright. Oh yeah, we can make whiskey later. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> we have two brooms, but we cannot dismantle them. Alright, but the throwing knives. <gasps> Tungsten! Oh, oh, wonderful! I like... Okay, we have to use these grenades, as we cannot turn it into other stuff. Alrighty. Okay, we did find some magnesites, so we can turn these into more magnesite powder. Or rather, we can kickstart the automation of it. Because we do want to get it through the oven, because it possibly can duplicate it. And that means we're gonna find it in here. There it is. Take two. Uh, change it out with the gold. And now just put everything away. Uh, it's not working again because... Is it working now? Ah, because blocks are in here. Now that makes sense. Does this work now? This works now. Okay. 
I like it when things work. Oh my god, and we get so much tungsten from this. Boomf, boomf. So that's all we really need at the moment. Uh, let's wait here for a moment to let it take care of the other things. Dunk, dunk. Are you smeltable? Okay. And this is fine sand. Fine sand is one of the classic blocks here. Hmm? Are you not smelting? Why are you not smelting? What's up with you? Ah, I love it when, when things work. Ah, now it's smelting. Nice. Yeah, we don't really get enough electricity and we need at least another solar panel. I know it's not doing much at night time, but that's what uh, batteries will come in for. But we have like one, two, three, four, five. Well, about five machines going all time. So it is about time to get more power in. Thing is, it has to smelt the tungsten first. So we have to wait for the electric. Oh, there's the tungsten. Wonderful. Do we already have some tungsten? No, no we don't. So we just gotta wait for that. Oh, we have 10 tungsten with us already. Let's see if we can craft something. Solar panel, solar panel. Ah, solar panel. Where oh, yeah, we have good enough stuff for that. Huh? How did water get in here? Whoopsie. Ah, and now we just connect this to the same thing everything else is connected. Uh, here? Um. Ah, no, I don't want to connect this. Okay. Now it should have doubled the power, which means the oven should uh, be working full time now. Well, not really, but it should work more often. Okay, so each day we can add one more solar panel, if we're lucky. But we do get the stuff here. Okay. Oh yeah, the ancient ion device I wanted to try out. Oh shoot, I'm kind of scared of this thing. We can do this now. Since we're still waiting for the stuff to process, we got the time for that. Well, where do we try it? Around here. So this is like the beacon net, uh, network we had previously. So I'm gonna just put it down here. And it has inputs and outputs. Monitor and sender for the item organizer network. Eto Akta Gamat? What? Okay, so if I have a mining chest here and a filing cabinet, how does it work? Oh, perfect for storing tools and equipment in it. In it? Now, we have some red petals here. What happens if two chests have red petals? Nothing really. Uh, let's look. Let's look in the workshop. I wanted to try another mod that is an uh, item network, just to see if um, it helps us with the shortcomings uh, comics we have. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what it does. Okay. Um, my own collect. My collect. Give me my collections. Tea time central. The mod pack that uh, the bot um, brings in from time to time. And in here.
here we're just scrolling down and we want to go to the last page holographic ruler planetary oh yeah planetary clocks oh i wanted to try that mod as well man so much stuff here uh-huh all the clothes all the fanboy clothes as well boom 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 new weapon type right Wait, new weapon type? Wait, it should be newer than that. It should be around here. Uh, uh, uh. Historical armor and clothes, healing tank, hound fashion. Lane, reusable targets, model lay, rail bumper, actuators. Placeable fire, color wheel, skittles. Oh, I, f I forgot where the mod is. And the mod name at that. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah, I don't think I can find it uh, like in the middle of this. Oh, wait. Is it not in the official pack? Is it still in the test pack? It shouldn't be in the test pack. Or it could be that I forgot to put it into the packs and it's just... Oh, oh. And I just um, subscribed to it without... Um, ba -bum. Without putting it into one of my collections. That means I'm just going through my subscribed items. <laughs> 28 pages. Wonderful. Oh no, it... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's uh, the newest to... Okay. Leg fix. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, right. We have a recipe browser now. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, that's the rail bumper. Item organizer network to ion. Organize sort items into storage containers. First things first. Oh, it was. A, it's still in my private collection. Ah, uh, because we haven't tested it yet. Whoopsie. Okay, how does it work? Place the item on the wall closest to a storage container that you want to use as a loot dump. Then, when activated, this device will scan that storage container and then organize sort the contents into other storage containers nearby. It is best if there are no storage containers that are as near to the device as your loot dump container. It is a lost prototype of the Ferrito processor after all. Uh-huh. Uh... Huh. Hey yo! Hi hi! We're testing mods. Okay, so the pedals are still in here. The range of this thing is that. So if we put the pedals just outside of the range. Like around here. And then activate. Wait, before I activate it, pedals are still in. Activate it. Oh, wait, activate it. Oh, do we have anything with wiring on us? Oh, 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 oh. Chat is looking weird? No, chat is looking normal. Problem is, actually, now that you say it, it's too far away. Ah, chat was too far away. Now chat is good. Chat should be perfect now. Thanks for the headbats. Have some back. Um. <laughs> I love this. The best features in the stream so far are the ones I made with the stream. Ah, uh, I like. Oh yeah, right. Viring. Do we have a viring? Anything. Nothing. Do I really have to get back to my station? It has a different UI. Yeah, it does. As I was saying before, I don't want to do everything, anything over stream elements anymore. So I can kind of get rid of it over time, piece by piece. And that's why we are doing uh, stuff with, uh, with another program that I like more. Do you like the other one? Oh, oh damn. Well, in that case, I have to copy the style of the other one, I guess. 
Um, bum, bum. We currently don't have anything in terms of wiring. Ah, this is not a wiring thing either. <laughs> oh, well. Wait, do we have a door with us? <laughs> we do. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a door. <laughs> okay, uh, the reason I want a door is... Um, One, two, three, four, five. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum, door, 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 door. Boom. Ha! The door is basically a switch. So, and this will be an input. Okay, pedals are in here. Pedals are in here. What happens if we open door? Wow! We have an enemy. Where do you come from? Silly little guy. Oop. Yep, stay down there. You you can survive. I allow you. Alright. If doors open, nothing happens. Nothing happens at all. Why? Now I cannot activate it anymore. Interesting. Can I activate it if it's closed? If it if the door is open, this thing gets a signal. No, I cannot activate it at all anymore. Huh? Okay, it has two other signals outgoing though. Out going signals okay the best way to test with these is to go to lights um uh, no do we have some lights we have an alliance alarm not really what i wanted to use but it's good for testing anyway oh it's it's making sound It's just for testing. Sorry. Boom. Okay, the signals are off. Now, what if I... This does nothing. This does nothing at all. Wait, let me go through the Steam page again. The way the mod selects storage containers, yeah, yeah, yeah. When an item is sorted, anything connected to one of the device's output will be signaled. When, while a signal is received on the input, the device will be triggered to sort items. Okay, let's go for another test, I guess. Um, with a third chest. To keep track of things. We're gonna put the weapon chest here. Down there. Take half of the pedals. So that means pedals are now in every of these chests. Now we open door. We close door. What happened? 13, 13, and the rest. Is it not working? It didn't activate anything either. So it it's just not working? Ah? Let me... Mm, compatible with enhanced storage, compatible with uh, fracking universe, uh-huh. For some elaborate bases or large storage areas with many containers, it is recommended to have a computer that vastly exceeds the recommended specs for server on blah blah blah. Uh, any issues? Okay, it doesn't seem to work though. Either that or I'm doing something wrong here. Damn, we don't have a new uh, item store. Um, item sorter. Oh, that would have been great. Oh well. You come in. Door comes in. This comes in. 
Um, we're taking the pedals again. Where's the pedals? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, try it out again, maybe in private. I, I don't know. This is one of the times where things should work, but they just don't. Also, we do need a door or something here. I don't like all of this coming in. One, two, three, four, five. With the only type of door we have being the glass one? No, we've got the panel door as well. Ah, so much better atmosphere in here. Wonderful. Is it clogged up? Nope. Is it working? Nope. Yeah, it is. It's just empty. Wonderful. Okay, you can make this. You can make it if you really try. You can make it if you really try. Okay, 8 magnesium powder out of the 10 we need. That honestly is not much. What happened to all of that we found? Ah, <sighs> 26 tungsten. Oh hell yeah. I need... I'm gonna take the silver and gold just in case. And the rest we leave in... Oh, except this. This we can take. And some glass. So now we could craft anything we need. Mm -hmm. uh, but honestly, the thing I want to craft is... This here, the iron driller. Oh, this one needs five diamond time. Okay, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, so we're gonna keep with the investment center. Oh, we cannot build this. This needs emeraldus. And we only have diamond time for now. So investment center is still the next thing to build. We do have everything except uh, the powder. Oh man. Well, 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 what can we do? Um, but, um, another thing I'm highly curious about because I was uh, looking for something while researching for mods. And the thing I want is apparently there is a way to build a turret which automatically harvests your animals. Mm -mm. It's not in here, it seems. Unless it's in one of these thingies here. Ooh, moth traps. <gasps> ah! Bug harvester turret? Okay. And farm beast harvester turret. Ah, we actually already have it. Well, in that case... It's night here anyway, so... Whoop. So we need food anyway, so stopping there is quite the win for us. And since we need food anyway, let's build a farmhouse. I mean, this is already kind of a farmhouse. We could turn it into a farmhouse. We could... Yeah, we could. Um, I could make 40 bread. Sure, why not? I mean, it's not going bad that quickly. So we will have quite a lot. Yummy. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, the background sound of it. Okay, 
We've got something to eat. Him, 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 him. So let me look. I could have sworn I got a new um playlist for this. <laughs> right, we've got the deep rock playlist. Uh bu -bum. run. Maybe it's not the atmosphere for this planet, but I like that we can have it. I should play this game uh, at some point. I mean, on here. A matter of skill and ammunition. Why so quiet? Uh, absolute zero? It's so quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Follow Molly. Oh yeah, the end thing. But that's... Uh, I welcome... I welcome the darkness might be relaxing enough. That might work. That might work. Okay. Uh, we could upgrade the tinker table, which usually is a quite good idea, but... Nah. The bug harvester turret is in here already. And here we have the farm bees harvester, which just needs a molten core. <laughs> why? Oh, come on. I mean, I know why, but... Uh... Okay, can I make it more quiet? Yeah, it's quite aggressive. No, just for how many tiles you can hear the music. A day of life. Let's try this. Okay, so we want different things on here now, and the f one of the first things I want is to get rid of this little guy. Uh, how do I? Do I just destroy him? Garden bot. Okay, I got him back. <laughs> I was kind of scared there for a moment. Okay, enough harvesting for that little guy. <laughs> okay, we've got a lot of carrots and a lot of stuff here. <gasps> oh, it's stacked the carrots! Oh, that's good! Carrots. Potatoes. Nice. If I... if I put all of this... To something like the to something like the cabinet here. And then press take all. Uh, maybe because they have different timers. Or let's try it with the uh, fridge instead. I mean I took it out of the fridge at the start, so maybe it will stack like this. Nah, I think the stacking time is over. I think if you... I think food in the fridge is good for all eternity. But as soon as it's out for just a second, it will... Um, it will put in, it'll be put into different stacks. So that's why the carrots who, are on, who have only been in the fridge or simultaneously in the uh, inventory are in one stack. And all the potatoes are in different ones because I have put them out um, one after another and inserted them one after another. Also, I did find out how to use the Kent machine. Uh, we need tungsten, like a good tungsten production for that, to create the tin cans. Yes, tungsten for a tin can. It is just as silly as it sounds. All right, all right. Now then. Uh, 
kind of want to restore all of this, but it wouldn't really fit the farming aesthetic, would it? Hmm, we could have the greenhouse before and the beasts after. That would be quite cool. So let's give the bees um, some good place to stay. Oh my, lots of stuff happening back here. Okay. They do not like me. La 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 la. All right. And on here, all the dirt. Oops. All the dirt. Uh, let's put the dirt in here while we are working on this planet. Okay. The dirt will not replace the flowers, so we have to manually pick the flowers. If we don't want any... Oops. Break in the pattern. So this would go on for a while. La 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 la. Oop. Oop. La 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 la. Again, here we can kind of oop, kind of build something like the farmhouse thingy. Uh, not the farmhouse thingy, the, the, um, ear. Where we put the pets in. Uh, I don't have a fence gate. I realize. Man. Okay, so we're having it from back there. All the way. That's not really that much space. Let's only use one line. We can build the second line later for decoration. Weep. It's still not enough. Okay, I, I'm gonna need to create a more uh, more fencing. Heyo! La 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 la. Fencing. And wooden fence is the only one that really looks okay. How many do we need? Let's have 10 for now. Th that's a hundred of fences. That should work for quite a while. Uh, next up on the doors. Gate. Wooden gate. Uh, we have tried before to stack them on top of each other. Anyone remember if that worked or not? They seem to be too high. Like, two pieces high. Uh, maybe it works. Oops, something died there. Yeah, that's that's plenty of space. We could even divide it into multiple. Actually, let's give it more space. Oh, hi there. Oh, how cute. Okay. And with the doors. Here. And here. Wonderful. Okay, and now to keep our beloved animals safe, well, we have to do a little bit more than just that. The wooden fence is... Oh. So instead, I will take these away. And these here. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna go with the same building uh, style we have already going. Why not? Which means we're building up with these. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, five, and one over. Okay. Four, five, and one over. One, two, three, four, five, and one over. One, two, three, four, five, and one over. And the question is stone or wood? I would keep it with only wood in here. As that would feel, uh, fit far better. Yeah, look, it's, it's already looking cute. And now for the roof piece. The primitive support isn't that bad, I would argue. Actually, the primitive support is quite alright when used like this. And then we are going for... We have quite a lot of cabin roofing. We have a lot of copper roofing as well. Nah, well, uh, foreground, not background. This is to keep the animals safe. I do want a way to jump in for myself. So maybe keep that thing away. But basically we're building it like this. And I do hope I have enough stuff for that. Oh, it seems like... Yeah, I do. Whee! Yep. Ah, oh, that's cozy! Okay. Next up, some torches for light. Boom. Boom. And now we just have to bring the animal over. Which means we'll open this gate here. Taking away the uh, scarecrow here. Opening up this gate. Actually getting rid of this gate. No need. And now the real problem is to actually bring the cow over. That means we have to wait for the cow to make its first move. And then block it with fence gates. Uh, this will take a moment. Come on, move. 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 You can do it. I believe in move. Will you? Please. Come on. Uh, I have another idea. La 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 la. Oh wait, we need cow feed for that. Do we have that over here? I want to use uh, regular food, but this is better. And we should have more somewhere. Where did I keep my cow feed? Not in here? Huh. Okay, I'm gonna put the trough in here with some cow f on the other side. Actually, I'm I'm gonna put it over here. Oomph. Now let's see if that works and attracts the cow. Ah, right down here we have more cattle feed. Come on over! Come on, move! <gasps> it's moving. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's moving slightly. Wow, the range of the troth is... Wow. <gasps> it's moving. Okay, so I don't have to repeat this all the time. I'm gonna put the fence gate over here. Move. And don't eat all of it. Mm -hmm. No! No! Move back! I just 
saw that. Don't. Come on. What happens if I build this here? Will I trap it? Oh, I can push it. Okay, this might take a moment. Depending on how cooperative this cow is. Oomph. 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 <laughs> I love that this works. Oomph. Oomph. Oh, 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 oh. Progress. Oomph. Oomph. <laughs> Where are you eating from? I took the feed away. There is an easier way, but we do not have the tool for that right now. Sadly. Take a moment. So, uh, yeah, how are you guys doing? I mean, come on, it's it's right over there. It can't be. <gasps> Progress! No, go back! I dare you. Where do you want to go? Ah, uh, I like this cow. This cow knows what's up. Bum, bum. Ah, progress, progress, progress. Pro progress. So close for the cow's safety. One, two, three. And now all you have to do is walk in. Come on. It's not that hard. Do it for me. No, 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 no. Accidentally got rid of the wrong one. I never thought it would be that hard to to move a cow around, but here we are. Now I'm a real cowboy. Uh, where's the actual door of this thing? I should get rid of that for now. Since we will easily replace it later. Hey, wonderful. Whoops. Actually, the inner one we can take away now. Ah, and this is where we will have the... I mean, this is where we will have the cows. We can have uh, something for the fluffalos later. And if you're confused on what I mean with that, uh, yeah, just wait for it. For now, this is our milking station. Um, with this actually coming into the other direction now. Closer to the actual farm. Alright. Ah, oh, so cute. Who's a cutie? You're a cutie. Yes, you are. Okay. La 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 la. Do I have the stone and stuff for this? That's not the same stone, is it? Wait. 307? Oh! Oh, it's something else entirely. Small... Small stone brick. Okay, let's craft a few of the... Of these. La 
啦啦啦啦。Stone, small stone brick. This year, we could build around a hundred. I would say twenty is enough for now. Twenty times twenty is four hundred. Yeah, that's easily enough. Wonderful. Also, we're getting rid of the background here. And of this overall. Ooh. Le. Okay, and we just park it here for now. We, we can move it later around. For now, though, I do want to rise these up. And for that, we do need the thicker stone bricks. Yoink. Ah. With this here being exchanged. Ah, what's better than some nice restoration, right? La la la. La 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 la. Okay, and the stone bricks on this side as well, because that means we can put torches on the walls to see more. Uh, torches? Torches. Hey, fancy. Okay, now we're doing this uh, for basically all of this. And I don't think we have to decorate the background too much. We can stay in the foreground here. Hello. Okay, this seems to go over like that. So basically this is topped off and we can still access it from over here. Okay. And the same is kind of true for this here. Ah. Uh, one over. Whoops. 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 whoops, whoops, whoops. Ah, we don't have these things. Um, do we already know the recipe for it? No, it's a stone platform. So, okay, let's let's go back for the stone platform. So we have all of it, actually. I don't know what to do with that thing so far, but we're gonna find a use. Stone platform, let's go. Platform. We got quite a few platforms, but stone platform is what we want. We can make about a uh, 700. We just do 20. La la la. Does a trader have new stuff? Ooh. Um, what? Only trading around there, I guess. Hey! Hey! Pangolin egg, iron beak. Yeah, we can hatch a few other things. He does not have new inventory, but we can sell him basically anything we want. Okay. Uh, this is all stuff for this planet, but nothing for the outside, except the torches maybe, which I can take. In here, we only have workstations, of which the foraging station we can take. Oh, we have more trolls. A large trough at that. And more growing trays. And another incubator. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Not too sure if we make use of that info now. 
And this may all be for the outside, but more for the park area, not for the... Um, blah, 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 blah. And all of this. All of this is needed now. Yut. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, I still don't know how to get rid of there. Door. Oof. Door. Bye bye. Alright. Market storage. Huh. We're not really automating anything here at the moment. We can later. We can try to make it as um, hidden as possible. So it still looks nice and not too advanced. That's what steampunk is for, not this place. La la la. la, la, la. And the stone platform goes here. Wonderful. Now it's symmetrical. Okay. Uh, with this here going up. And to the side. Okay. These go up all the way. And then we need a lot of stone for the background. Hey, it looks like something again. Oh, I like the restoration. I wish we could uh, have more opportunity to do this more. I don't think we find that many ruins around here. Oh, fancy. Oh, look at that. Now, torches. Which we can put basically everywhere here. And we can put windows in as well. Uh, do we have something fitting? We have glass blocks. The wooden windows? Could work. Uh, could roughly work. Since we pretty much restored this um, to its old glory. This works. Also, this could be like the production tower. So the farmhouse is more for living and this is where we actually convert the plants and all. No, either that or this is actually where we can grow the plants. Now that I think about it. Oh, this, this would actually be quite perfect for that. Wait. Wait, if that works. Oh, I swear to God, that would be amazing. Uh, we do have to go back. To get the troll, uh, not the troll, the the planter. It's not really a greenhouse per se, but it has character, you know. Uh, we have two of these planters. La 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 la. Okay, right now the planters work um, basically without automation. We can upgrade them if we want, but... Oh my god, it works. Oh my god, it works. Okay. Oh, uh, we, we can have them going through. Also, if we are lucky enough, we can have two of them on top of each other. Wait. Let me try. Uh, uh, uh. Makes the um, import out, uh, input output for them a little harder to achieve. But maybe, just maybe. Oh my god, that works. <gasps> and it wouldn't even be too far fetched to have solar panels on here, right? It. I mean, it's not really the medieval aesthetic with solar panels, but... 
I would argue it still kind of works. Nice. Also, we could um, connect them in the middle a little bit. Like that. I have something like an overhang. I, I don't know how exactly to do that. Or maybe just a tunnel? Ah, more or less um, an open tunnel. I still want the ability to jump up or down. I'm going to keep it like this for now. We can decide on this later. Okay, that means I can bring over the other ones from the house here. So we basically have two different uh, plantations going. We have the automated, automated ones from the idle factories. And everything that is not an idle factory we can put into these here. Tea leaves? I have put tea in here? What? Remnants of a coffee plant? Why are tea leaves in a coffee plant? What happened here? I, I mean, alright then. Alright. I do need to eat. Uh, eat. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. Let's see if we can find something, uh, a refrigerated storage uh, that actually looks nice for this place. Um, ba -bum. Frontier counter, frontier fridge. The frontier fridge kind of works. Not really, though. Okay, instead of that, do we have something in here that we can use? I need some refrigerated storage. A crop bin is, is kind of cool. It's actually pretty cheap. Let's make one of them. For decoration at least, but we can actually um, use it for more. A farm crate? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I know for what. Craft one of them. Then we have simple farm storage. Okay, whatever. Give me. I do need fridgy storage though. Storage, furniture, furniture. Uh, fridge. <laughs> now that looks, that looks fitting. Mini fridge, uh, nightstand, flat locker, full size fridge is what we have. Uh, tech chest. Um, ba -bum. Merchant's card is simple storage. Mini fridge is... We already have the mini fridge. If it's up to that, we don't need it. E e Mad locker. Mm. This is all the modern stuff. Poison storage. <laughs> yeah, sooner or later, maybe. If we are fancy. Um, ba -bum. Ba -bum -ba -bum. Smallest locker. Cute. Another storage card. 200 items, but not refrigerated. This, these are the wooden sheds. Uh, yeah, no. Sadly not. There are other places we can look, though. Either he Not here. But we do have two extra fancy crafting station. I'm, I'm looking over there's a crafting station I have missed here. But there isn't. Okay, we'll be right back to this planet. I'm, I'm gonna see if uh, we can find a nice, uh, uh, a nice storage unit in one of the other crafting tables for decoration specific. Uh, we have none of them here, it seems. La 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 
By the way, if any of you have uh, ideas of uh, what we can do, build or how to improve this world, don't feel shy to say something. So, in terms of storage, it doesn't really show anything here. We've got a lot of graffiti, some other stuff. Oh, cute. Sapling? <laughs> oh. Unbreakable? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a decorative sapling, so I think this one will not grow. Interesting. But not really what we need. Portraits and wallpapers. Kind of cute. So this here is the storage stuff. A packing box. Nice. Oh, the medicine ca cabinet looks so great. I know what this will look great with, but we have to wait for that. Luggage. Ooh. That one looked really cool. Uh, do we have here? No, this is just furniture, so I don't think we would get any storage in here. Man, this is all doors. This is packs and this is wallpapers. So not from this guy, sadly. Oh man. Um, this is such a thing again, but this one is upgraded, so there might be more in here. Cane's chest. Food storage. Okay, it is food storage, but it's not refrigerated. Thank you, game. I mean, this is kind of cool for wheat and stuff. I'm not gonna lie. La, 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 la. Okay, no, it's upgraded, but it doesn't really um, give us more stuff. Do we have any crafting stations on us that would give us decorative stuff? Alarm assembly. Uh, this is too modern. What about this guy? I forgot what he said. Um... A spawner? Simply place and then leave the planet or ship. Once you return, there will be an NPC. Cute? Okay. But I fear the NPCs because I don't know how to get rid of them. Ah, yeah, we got the WW furnishing. This might help. Do you have anything I need? Maybe. Oops. Maybe we just need to find the style. So this is winter stuff. This is recycled stuff. Summer. Spring. Okay, maybe in the spring. Ceiling lamp, chair, coffee table, door, drapes, dresser, garden, gardening shelf. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's only decorative, so it's uh, it's not really shelf shelf. It's more like put in the background. Would work, but not really. Spring ladder, ladder top, okay. Long curtain, table, portrait, sink, sofa. Bleh. Oh, towel storage. Not really the storage I was looking for. Wardrobe. Ooh. Ooh, pretty. Uh, this is the kitty cat stuff. Not really fitting. I hate to say it, but it's true. Uh, sleek water feature? Oh, this actually is very sleek. I like it. Ah. Okay. No fridge? Nothing? Come on. Nope, nope, nope. 
where are we? Here we are. Vapor wave, retro, pastel, neo, moon, art deco. Oh, oh, fancy, fancy. Okay, nothing here is really uh, has anything for kitchens. Flying cars, really? <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, the water tank is cool. It's not a real water tank, though, sadly. Oh, this is nice. It's a little bit, little bit too modern. Just a tiny little bit too modern, sadly. Ooh. Of course, in terms of steel, we have... Ah. <laughs> Why not with the classic stuff? Ooh, rose. Okay, rose like. This could work. Cabinet, bookshelf, uh, towel storage. Towel, right? Mm. Teapot. Oh, that's cute. I like that one. A sofa, a sink, a wardrobe. Meh. Mirror, dresser, door, desk, couch, table, door. Oh. So it's just a tiny little bit too ro rose, too pink. Not not pink. Not enough pink. The the red is so much more cool. Oh, I like the red here. Same again though. No fridge. Hmm? Oh, they cute. I like them. A rose basket. Oh, okay. Give me. Can I have two? I can have two. This is quite good for us. Okay, Bohemia. Yeah, I don't think we find anything here. Uh, this is for this planet. That's why I'm gonna leave this here, actually. Yeah, no. We didn't find anything. We have to use the regular fridge. Oh, man. Ah, uh, whoop. La 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 la. Um, one last time. Oh yeah, clothing station. Mm, I'm gonna take you. Next time we get to Dexian, I'm gonna place this there. It doesn't really suit the style, but that's where we put the clothes anyway. So, but at the start we're going the other direction to see where we can place the fridge without it looking too bad. I'm gonna take the table with me for that. Hmm. Ha! <laughs> Maybe over here. Uh, on the table? With the little fridge. <laughs> it doesn't really look great, but what can you do? So, and that thing would need a storage. No, it wouldn't. It would not need a storage bridge. We actually need more pixels now. So we can use the be. Oh, wait, I didn't want to use these things with beacon. Actually, I know how to use these. Oh, I do have an idea. We just need one transference device. Which is sad to say, because we need a teleporter core for that. You know what we can do? Uh, I hate to say that, but the most intelligent thing to do right now, instead of uh, building more here, is to explore. Okay, what do we want to explore? Uh, first of all, let's get the fuel. We have quite a lot of fuel on the steampunk. So we're grabbing that, putting it into the ship, and then we can basically fly wherever we want to go. So are you up for the desert? Are you up for a forest? Are you up for whatever? Because we're gonna go around the loot now. Um, bum 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 bum. 
Hello? 1500, let's go. Uh, oops. <gasps> Yippee! Up we go. All right, and with all the fuel on hand, let's insert. Ah, we're not bound by anything anymore. Actually, I don't think we have explored all of this system so far. We have explored this planet to its fullest, if I remember right. But we do have the whole desert planet here to go. And even though I could have stayed there because most of the treasures are underground. It's just hard to get to there. Hey oh, hey hi. We're exploring today. I mean, right now, we're doing quite a lot of things here today. <laughs> it's just an E missing. It's not that hard. Uh not, not that bad. It's, it's not that hard. Get yourself together, man. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I wanted to say. Ah, uh, whoop. I'm doing good. I did some art today and I just reminded myself how much I hate drawing. <laughs> you ah, ah, this is unfair. This is unfair. I'm gonna read later. I'm seeking safety. Whew. The hell? They don't come. They come in. Excuse me? Okay, I I'm gonna fight for a second. I'm gonna interact with chat afterwards. The hell is. Okay, the little guy is nearly done. Okay, little guy's done. Now we just have to take care of big guy. What is my best weapon for that? Now we just jump a little to dodge. <laughs> I like this one. How did the drawing go? Actually quite well. It's it's one of the more It's one of the most complicated drawings I ever did. So I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> hey, I'm out. Ow. What the hell exploded there? Why is it lagging? I feel like I'm dying every second here now. Uh, okay, I think I can pick up my gauntlet. It's just in a interesting state there. Ooh, acidic warfare. I found a large container full of Vash acid. Previously used by a justiciar to power its weapons. I should find an Akimari who knows their way around Vash weapons. Perhaps they can fashion a new weapon for me using this container. Ooh, okay, so we got something out of that. Noise. Okay, did I pick up my weapon again? I did! To see the drawing. There! Wait. 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 Please wait. Please on hold. Ah, th there is. There is, but I'm not gonna say now. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. There is a way, but not right now. You you will have plenty of opportunities to see that later. So, one thing I do every time I'm on a new planet is the Columbus Cross. Because this will mark the position we started in. <gasps> ah! This one doesn't like me. Excuse me, what did I ever do to you? Oh wait, we have a flame there. <laughs> oh, that thing is not effective at all. Let's see if the muzzle change. Does anything? It's not effective, but I want to upgrade it. Let's see if I can. Uh, upgrade. Flamethrower, 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 flamethrower. Oh, we cannot. It will forever be weak. Dang it. Okay. 
Okay, what are we doing? Uh, we upgraded um, the steampunk a little bit. I think... Did I... Did I actually do anything there? I could have sworn I did something there, but I don't remember. And then we built another um, nice house for our Mushi, for the cow. And now we're just going around in search for basically anything. Teleporter's core if we find any. I would love some teleporter cores. Like a lot, lot. Eh. We're out for teleporter course, we find lore. Oh, I forgot that I wanted to read! Oh, I want to start the stream with that. God dang, I forgot the books. Oh well. Can always do this later. Ooh. Pro Prokeon? What the hell is Prokeon? What did I pick up? Oh, Lord, give me strength. Quest item. I think one of these is Prokeon. Prokeon! Ah, okay. We can put this into a radio. Bedtime story stream? Yeah, if we don't make too long today, I can do that. Hey! <gasps> boom, boom, boom. Ah! It's hard to hit them. Okay, we're going around the planet now and look if we can loot stuff. Um, I don't feel so safe anymore. Who's that guy? <laughs> the guy she tells you not to worry about. Okay, as long as... Ah. Aha! Yeah, we can damage him. No one should be able to come in here, right? I don't know about the bunny. I'm a little bit more scared about the bunny now than about the T-Rex here. He don't bite? He big bite. Bite is his love language. What do you mean, no bite? I have the power of ice cream on my side. Yay. What did you drop, big guy? Uh, alarming heck hacker. Some leather. The alarming heck hacker. Razor sharp and lightning quick. It's a dagger. It's not a sword. Ooh, it's medium range though. How much damage? 4.3 versus 8.8. .8. So half of it on good range. Ha! Huh. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, let's explore some more. <laughs> the fruity berserker. Ah, uh, we love the fruity. The the item names overall. We we talked about the last stream. I I just love them. Ooh, an Evican outpost. Evican sunglasses. Uh, yeah, we are not an Evican, so this does nothing for us. But we can play an Evican later. Once, once we get to know them more, we can have an Evican character as well. <laughs> Let me in! Asshole. <laughs> He's just keeping the door. He knows what is coming. Do they... Are they cool? Are we... Are we cool? <gasps> We're not cool! We're so not cool! Oh my god! Get away from me! Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> you get this going. 
Ah, dang it. First up all the birds. Because they can actually get to me. Oh, I'm so gonna die. Ah, the aim is shit, but it's my strongest weapon. What? It's so many birds. You know what? You know what? Screw the birds! We're fine. We're fine. We've got this. Whew. And, uh, Evican, um, it is one of the races that came with the Aletheian races. And they are basic. I think, if I'm not mistaken, those are Evicans, actually. They are desert dwellers most of the time. I mean, on their home planet. I don't know what they are anymore, but... At least on their home planet, they were desert dwellers. Hi, hi. Yes, yeah, sorry, you didn't let me in. I didn't collapse while I was sleeping. I guess I did sloppy work. Yeah, you did. They're kind of cute. They are. Oh my god, I like I like the little pet snake. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh. For a second, I thought my game was tilted in the previous screen because the chat is tilted. Looks cool. Ah, another color. We find them everywhere now. I wonder if that mod was a good idea. The spawn rate is a little bit much. Ooh, I'm, I'm keeping that, thank you. Randy stranger, feeling awkward, cautiously optimistic. Well, same here. Oh, we can. Oh, we certainly can. I should actually make sure that uh, we're gonna have some later. Here, that's what you get for attacking me like that. Oh my god! That's a quick one. Can you not attack the villagers? Oh! <laughs> he called for... He called for help. Cool. Yeah, cool. Danger dead. And we can take that stuff? I like that. Give me all of the things. <laughs> the color, the color mod is great, but the, but the loot, um, um the loot res, uh, how quickly you get the loot is just a little bit over, just a tiny little bit over, like every third chest basically. Ow, guys, your work. Thank you. Good work. <laughs> Ah, uh, we can make a whole collection if you want. Not really what I was going for, but... I mean... Oh! Huh. Are you angry? Oh, they are. Ah! Ah! I want to touch them, but it doesn't work. Nope. Do, 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 do. A sword rifle. Firework launcher! Ah, oh, this is our firework launcher. Yippee! <laughs> Yay! Happy New Year! <laughs> oh, wonderful. Ow. 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 <laughs> Silly. Ah. Okay. Will you come over? Will you... Will you come over? Come on. Yeah. They don't even have loot! I can take this thing. Uh, do we need anything here, actually? Let's take some of the background in case we didn't have it yet. I think we already have all of this. In terms of blueprints. Do we have this? We do. Yeah, I think we have all of the blueprints. Alright. Uh, this is a drop. <gasps> Yeep! Yeep! Ow. We're fine. 
Huh? Who are you? Oh, he's bad. Oh, he's bad. Hi. Wasn't that your pet? Man. Oh, it's Florin architecture. Help me. I'm trapped in a cage. Help! <laughs> uh, okay, uh, actually I do want to zoom out a little. It's um, not that good for you, but I like to see danger before it comes around, usually. Mmm, food. <laughs> trapped in the silly cage? I heard it's horny jail. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! There was no floor. New chest piece. Ooh. And it. A dead killer. Is it two handed? Ah! Why is it a two handed? This looks great. Man. Ooh, that's way too modern for our current style. I forgot to take the chest with me, but that's all right. Uh oh. Uh. Somewhere around here is a funny guy. Ah, he's fine. Ooh. Now that would be dangerous, would it? Would would wouldn't? With two-handed things? Oh, I, I'm more proficient with one-handed swords. I, I don't... Okay, I don't think I'm more proficient with them, but I surely would prefer having them. Ah, nothing here, really. A mushroom guy. And a big pot. This looks like a boss arena. Are you friendly? Oh, you are friendly. What is this? I feel like I'm going to die if I activate this. Oh. Giant fungal pod. I can just take it. No idea what it is. No idea what it does. But it's mine now. <laughs> this is how it works, right? It's probably fine. No need to worry about it. Ooh, big bird. Ooh, very strong big bird. Very strong big bird that can go through walls. Where have I seen that before? Hey guys, do you want to help me? No? Big bird? Ah, they take care of big bird. Torch pixels, ocean exploration, what? And silicon boards. Okay, they keep me safe. I like them. Ocean exploration? Here? Ah, it's a musical thingy. Okay. Okay, for everyone who sees the mods, uh, please remember that some of them, a, a tiny few of them that you see are not in the in the public pack because they are still in experimentation. As soon as that's over, you have basically all of them. Uh, Two-handed sword, bone sword, 15. What do we have? Eight! It's a better s It's a two-handed. Man! Men, 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 Oh, traitor. Hi there. Ooh, Jude's workshop looks fancy. I take one of them. Copper beak egg. I don't think we need it, but we have it. And a submachine gun. Doesn't look that interesting, to be honest. What can we sell? Ah, all the bonery weapon. And the collar... Oh my god. <laughs> they sell for like a few, uh, few pixels. Um, it's a little bit overpowered this way. 
Huh. Um, I think I want to sell any of these. None of these. Here we're quite good. I don't think we need to sell anything here. Except you can have a bit of copper if you want. I have that. So, 4,000 pixels. Oh, we're rich. Knaves. Sure, we can... Nah. Nah. Nah, I'm good. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's a simple color. It's not even an upgraded one. They For how much they spawn, they have no right to to give that many pixels. I should actually... We should actually decide to um, forbid me selling them. Because it's... It's overpowered. Let's be honest. Then again. Then again. My current goal is to build a machine that generates pixels. So... You know what? Forget about that. We like overpowered in this playthrough. Overpowered is just our thing. Okay, nothing new. Food would be quite good, actually. Mmm. Apple pie. Oh, give me. Mmm. And a new plant. I take that. Oh, shoot. Oh, he's being attacked. I thought he's one of the attackers. I need help. Alright, I help you. The perpe uh, it's not even a perpetual pixel machine, it's just a machine that creates pixels out of nowhere. Just like that. For real, for real. Alright. Do I have these blocks already? No, we just learned new stuff to craft. Cool. Oh. Friends? No, not friends. You peekaboo. 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 Okay. <laughs> it is for real, for real. Just like that. Uh, hello? Ah, oh, great. Aha, uh -huh, we need that. Oh, that's cool as well. Nice. Uh, anything else? We don't need the effigies. Not... Oh, oh, you scared me. Not really my style. Ooh, I want that thing. It's, it's gonna take a while until we build that big that we have a whole church, but... Oh my god, yes, please. Also, I like the style of the stone here. Imagine a whole um, a whole city in this style, like a desert city. This could actually be really cool for the Roman stuff. I don't know if this is uh, like the material that um, the Romans really used to build their stuff. Painted brick. I don't know how I remember that this is the the one I want to use, but oh well. Also, the glass blocks are really cool. I'd w oh yeah, and then with uh, I don't know some some tapestry around, like a uh, red cloth um, over the buildings, and then you have I don't know an Assassin's Creed style t uh, t um, bell tower, which you can jump down with, can jump down with, can jump down with, can jump down with, can jump down with. He is going through dirt, isn't he? I'm gonna be ready to beam up. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh! I clicked on through the wrong window. <laughs> to the wrong screen. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. What an ambush. That's unfair. We're gonna go the other way around now. Phew. Hey yo! <laughs> what do we have here? Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Tungsten. Hey, music. Ooh. Oh, batteries. Actual, actually great. Hey. La, 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 la. Do I have to fight them? Oh, ow. He's still alive. Ow. Excuse me? Oh, 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 I jumped too far. I jumped too far. Okay. Eh, out of all this, uh, this gold, this is... This is a scary one. Can I have it? No. I cannot. But I can have their stuff. Empty. Three coils. Oh, three seats of what I already have. Hey, don't worry, I'm not taking anything else. Oh shit, one. Ow. I want to jump over him, not into him. Ooh, gimme. Thank you. Yeah, usually, but not these. Uh, I feel that something was born here. It's quiet. Too quiet. Ooh. Pumpkin lanterns? Um, oh my god, I barely damage him. What is this guy? Fire? Fire maybe? Constant fire? Constant... Constant... Stop flying! <laughs> okay. Holy hell, that was scary. Flamethrower is actually quite good. Pumpkins? Pumpkins. I... Ah, oh, I can turn them on and off. Those are just simple lights. Cool! Next Halloween will be... Fancy. Hi! Yeah, t t yeah, yeah, Twitch. <laughs> it reconnected me with my own chat... Uh, d a, a moment ago. Sometimes I don't know what's going on with that uh, platform. Okay, now we made a mangy. Now I can walk into my own fire. That is absolutely a thing that can happen. Oh, and the strong guys are around. Not sure how I feel about that. No, 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 no. We, we usually don't end just like that. In in the middle of a planet exploration. How long have I been streaming? About three hours. We can go on for a little bit more. Not too much. A little bit, though. Eh? Wet. Really? It just sprayed water onto me. Help me, this game makes me wet. Yep. 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 Uh oh. Whew. Oh, there's a whole graveyard and everything. Oh. Fire burns, always. Um, it's, uh, it's an ouchie. I don't know how you can deal with ouchies, but it is an ouchie. Also, how do, can I take them? I cannot. Oh, I just destroyed the Bambians. But we learned. The Anakins? The Skywalkers? Can you concentrate on the flying thing? No, they work together. That's unfair. Oh, the Zavali! What? 
Why are the Avali fighting me? I thought the Avali are chill. Wait, wasn't this an instant destroyer? Wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, right, this thing can kill me. I should be... I should be very careful with this thing. Oh, fuck. Avicans! Yeah. Oh. <sighs> I haven't used this in a while because I'm scared of this gun. Oh, the blue atmosphere. Oh, it's quite nice, actually. After the eternity in shadows. Oh my god, I want the tree. Ah, uh, too bad Halloween is over. We could have a Halloween town. Why are you scared of the gun? Um, because it doesn't really differentiate between enemy and ally. And I'm my own ally, so it can kill me. And that's quite bad, because I like staying alive. I know it's controversial, but life... Life good. Hello? Yup. Any, any chest, anything in here? No. Nothing. Are they actually friendly? Oh, whoops, I didn't need to fight the other one. They are actually friendly. Whoopsie. <laughs> Life to be. <laughs> uh, that's, that's actually how you raise someone up. You don't tell them like you're beautiful or I, I like you. You just say, hey man, you're quite pockers. That will get, that will get all the girls. Trust me. I haven't tried it so far, but just trust me. No reason. Ah, oh, but if you use it right, the gun goes hard. Nice. No, not the oil. Okay. <laughs> when the aim is actually good. La 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 la. Hmm. <laughs> hey babe, you're so poggers. Ah! Ow. I pocked hard when I saw you. <laughs> okay, remember when I said I'm scared of the gun? I had 4,000 pixels! Ah. Okay, we have to beam down and get our stuff as quick as possible. Ah, so no more fighting, just rushing. La 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 la. That's why we don't use the gun. Mm, just like that. Suddenly, life was over. Whee! Whee! Man, if you close to them anymore, I'm gonna steal your doors. La 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 Oh big bird Bye How quickly can I make it there? Because all my important stuff is there I I I don't wanna lose all of that. I worked hard for all of that. Okay, we are already in the right back. Okay, he's a red version of those pink guys. Oh, wait, I could analyze all of these. Well, not right now. I do have uh, my analyzer still on me, but I'm here for very pressing matters. 
Give me stuff. Give me stuff. Give me all of my stuff. Uh oh. Uh, speed up a little. Can't be that far anymore. Should be right around the corner. La 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 uh. Oh cool. I'm gonna read what this is later. Oh oh, it's lagging. It's like, it's like, I'm moving. Ah. Mom, pick me up. I'm scared. Ah, shit. That's what you get for not taking your time. Can I... Ah. Oh, I cannot go around. Well, if not go around, go through. Where's my stuff? <gasps> my stuff! I don't say! <laughs> I should have everything. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, ah, there's another. Ow. Ah. Oh, wait. They can go through walls. Oh, I hate them. Okay. Okay. From distance. From distance. We can do this. It needs some load up time. Can't be used immediately. We're good. We're good. Oh. It, it, yeah. I lost quite a lot of stuff. Look at that. All of that blinks was on the ground. Same with this here. All oh, the bulb moral. Same with all of this. All of this here. And all of this is important. Crafting materials. Celestial Ascents? Never saw this before. Interesting. Oh, we found something new. Ah, oh, and food. Hey. <sighs> Nom nom nom. Okay, some things here. Some things here. Can I build the phone door? I can. And of course, the mechhorn. What is this? Explosive protection tech suit. Any damage taken by the wearer will be released in an explosion after a few seconds. Does that hurt me, I wonder? We can, we can try it out. Any damage. So it's like thorns. But where is the explosion? Is it on me? Well, since I'm the tech wearer, I think. I'm just not sure. Ooh, scary. Ah! I don't like this planet anymore. I, I think we're... We haven't really been through all with this planet. I know. Oh, can we go for another? Yeah, it's, it's too many flying guys. Bye-bye. We're good here. We're good here. We find the teleportation core somewhere else. I'm pretty sure of that. The, the thing is, teleportation cores you rather find in caves. But for obvious reasons of not wanting to lose my stuff, I'm not going down. Oh yeah, we've got we've got the pumpkins. We've got the pumpkins. 22 of them. Hi. And they can be turned on or off. So they are like a miniature light source. Cute. Alrighty. We could build stuff for this thing if we wanted to. Oh, we can actually build a few things. Not all of them. All of these need teleportation cores. And I rather want the book first. Five cores for a book? Are you fucking with me? Uh, WTM light beacon. A small beacon teleporting everything around it? Whatever that means. So basically everything that directly has to do with the teleportation needs the core. 
got it. Security station. Okay, server. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Aquari quest. Uh, yeah. Six Dura Steel. Yeah, I don't think we researched Dura Steel so far. Can I make other stuff? Iron tool table, lodestone. The rail crafting table. Oh my god. But not yet. But not yet. We first need a way to get tungsten more comfortably. City core van. To decorate urban areas. Okay, not yet, it seems. Lithia store? It's too modern. Everything we have is too modern. The weapon reinforcer pod is cool, though. Yeah, why not? Sooner or later, I wanted anything way. So, we're just placing down the weapon uh, thingy majingy. And let's see how it works. To begin weapon reinforcement, please insert a weapon in the slot. Okay, how about flamethrower? Yeah, why not? Uh, where's my flamey? Fly... Flamey. Copper bar. Five copper bar. Success rate 100%. This thing does. Uh, half a damage for 28.6. Level 2. Half a damage for 28.6. Level 2. Eh? Half a damage for 28.6, 1.1. Level 2. This did nothing! What? Maybe it's not compatible with that weapon? So, how about Eruption, which has a 5.5 DPS? 3.9 damage per shot on a 5539141. 5, Five five three nine one four twenty one. Okay, I guess it doesn't work with my weapons. Ah. What about the ice cream cone? Twenty four point five twenty two. Twenty four one Oh, reinforcement plus one down there. I don't know what it does, but that means uh, the flamethrower has reinforcement as well. It doesn't show here, but it does show here. Down there, like squished. Oh, it's beneath the dog. Whoopsie. It's squished on the max range. Weird, but hey. Uh, what's with this thing? Okay, these two have some special overlays, so I don't know if reinforcement really counts for them. Um, ba -bum. So can I reinforce the claw as well? I mean, it's a vanilla item, if I remember right. Uh, <laughs> should have checked. 9.5, 2.1. So, 10.3, 2.1. Okay, here we have actual upgrades. Okay. So it's really just with the vanillas. That's not good. The snow piercer maybe twenty two point eight titanium. Right. Okay, can't upgrade this thing. No. Was it ten point three? Wasn't it ten point eight or was it this here? Now I'm confused. Okay, ten point three. 11. Uh, oh, it's still our best weapon. Okay. Every time you hear that, we're using up four iron bars. Ah, now we use up four iron bars as well. But this thing is stronger now. 11.8. Not the best, but it's good. And it's still in tier 3. I wonder if it went up tiers. Wait. 
Did we put it up tiers? Oh, wait. Next up is tungsten. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Iron bars? Absolutely not. We get, we get a lot of them. Don't worry about it. Tungsten is a little bit more difficult. Still. Uh, ooh. Broken what? Nah, we're not a magic type. We're so not a magic type. Um, next planet. Uh, this looks interesting. What is this, by the way? Shadow cold ship. Shadow cold ship? A full black ship. This shadow cold ship, despite the name, invites you aboard for a friendly visit. I mean, hey. How many times are you invited by a shadow cold? Astro merchant ship. Oh, that's cool as well. Let's go around the ships for a while. Not the, not the planets. <laughs> shadow. <laughs> shadow wizard money gang. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is safe out here without a helmet. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. This is like an atmosphere. An invisible one. Yep. Ah. Oh, Arceus Fuel. Thank you. Oh, parts. Thanks. Hi. You cool if I don't start being a part of your cult? I joined this cult recently and still don't get what these guys are about. That's a Florin. Oh, yeah, they also have the hands of Florence. Cowboys can survive in space. It's fine. Come on. Tavita. Oh. Hi, Tavita. Oh, we having the lag again. So, lag accumulates after a while with this game. Now we have a problem because I don't know which mod does that. So, we just have to take it as face value. And maybe just restart the game every three hours. <laughs> the terrors that lurk in the night. If you can't beat them, why not join them? Exactly. Florin likes darkness. It is the opposite of fire. <laughs> oh, Florins are plant people, so them being afraid of fire actually makes a lot of sense, right? Oh. Don't worry, we are just passing by. Nothing to be suspicious about. The like accumulates? Uh, it must no we we started with no lag at all and within the last half an hour it started to accumulate a little bit um and i imagine the next hour it will get worse and worse um i think one mod and that's the hardest part because to filter that out it means i have to play every like every single mod for three hours to find the culprit uh, one of them accumulates data and it's not deleting the data, so it's just overclocking and every... It feels like every few minutes, every five minutes or whatever, it tries to get the data. Oh, sh... I need a way to filter uh, the bot out with the chat. <laughs> I, 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 I do like how it looks here in space because it's like this uh, Star Wars uh, thingy. <laughs> also, can I have that? I cannot have that! I like the channel here. Hey, Captain, what do you say? The terrors are looking in the night. Yep. Okay. We stole everything from them. We're good. And almost touched the ship. I'm... I... I didn't fire at the Floran. I just wanted to make pretty lights, you know. You know. Alright, where's the other ship? Oh, it's still here. Astro merchant ship. Don't leave me. I'm coming to you. Yep. Yes. Yes, yes. Like, what is it in English? Is it Elster in English as well? Like the birds, so like pretty shiny things? Right. We're collecting. Oh, that's the entrance. Ooh, it looks modern. Is it a protectorate ship? OK, 
Okay. Uh huh. Nice. Oh, pixels. Good for a trading ship to find pixels on. Oh, building material. Thank you. Highly appreciated. Florence. Thorin doesn't get to hunt much in space. Sad. What do you think waits for us out there in the stars? It is difficult to maintain a beard when you spend so long maintaining a spaceship. It's a magpie. Oh! Ah! I'm gonna forget about that. Maybe we need some uh, magpie uh, avians to keep me re Really? You don't have much either? God damn, they're all useless. Oh, we do have the <laughs> we do have the little profile picture now. Is is that the image from uh, Beast Mode? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Lego Star Wars is on sale and two other games. Cool. I don't have money. Now then, um, next stop. The ships didn't really have much for us, so back to the planet. I wonder if we can go here. Threat low. Celestial interference. Wait. Threat low? What? Wait. wait. Threat low? Celestial interference prevents the detailed scan, but there are anomalous energy readings here that warrant investigation? Huh? What this? Let's explore. Apparently a lot to load. Okay, I have a gun to shoot. Good. Oh, I need a gun to shoot. Wait, we're zooming out a little. Ooh, these are not friendly. Ah, shit, I'm ranged. Uh, I, I'm limited in range, I mean. I'm not even doing that much damage. My other hand is a drill. I can't really. This is not where we want to be anyway, so I'ma just dodge the uh, I'm just dodging every oh no. These don't become active and follow me, right? No, I just have to maneuver around them. Oh they become active. If it goes bad we can just Go up! Come on, be quicker. Be quicker, be quicker, be quicker, be quicker! Get away from me! Ah, they're too close! They're too close! Ow! Oh, I barely have any health left on this. And we're done. I'm beaming up. Yeah, those are mines. I hate that they come alive. Uh. Threat level low, my ass. That's the cold ship? Oh, that's not the cold ship. That's a different one. Uh. Poison gas. Uh. Can't even explore here. Let's go to another star, since we have a lot... Hazardous star. Uh. Mm. Ooh, what is tripolar star? So, oh, oh, that looks dangerous. Okay, that looks advanced. Uh, um, this looks fine. Sure, we can explore this here. Yeah. Ah, oh, there we have green stars around. Alright, where to go first? Pirate ship! A threat moderate. I'm not gonna fight them. Habitat Hong Oyas. Moderate. 
So, Savannah first, I would argue. Oh, what's this? Radio post. Oh. Mightily hot. Okay, so we are limited in time that we can spend there, but we can run around the planet. Mm -hmm. The desert. Got fossils, we've got all the usual things. But we're not there to mine, we are there to steal. Oh my. Already looks pretty modern. Ah, a hidden chest. Gimme. Mm, snow infantry trousers? Teleporter core! We have one of the needed teleporter cores. Let's go. Immediately at the spawn area. That is cool. The end table looks cool. I want it. That table looks cool. I want it. I even know where I can use it. Oh, hell yeah. Today we re... Ooh? A lab? Seems like we can go into the lab from there. There's a chest. Oh, it looks like this plan is a little bit more dangerous. Ow! Mm. Good in touching. Ah! Stop it! Oh, jump, 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 jump! Why won't you jump? Whoo! Yeah, the leg is scary! Just slightly! Oh, disguise mask. Okay. Give me? <laughs> alright, alright, why not? I take it. <laughs> We're masked now. No one will get our identity. Oh shit, we cannot. Help. Nope. Stop. I want to get in there. I wonder if there are dangers in here. Also, I wonder if I have all the blocks in the background. I'm just taking a few uh, in case uh, we uh, get a new uh, crafting recipe. No, not really. Take the monitor. Two gene samples. Which fit quite well into this atmosphere. I see you. Wow. I'm doing so much more damage on my own than with a mech. Look at that. What is this thing? Well, it was something. Simple mech blueprint. Alright. Huh. What is this place? That's just another chair. That's just another bed. So the only way is through here. Huh? What this dungeon? Looks quite cool. There we have another mine. Okay, so this is a spaceship or something. Those are connected lasers. Cool. We just have to watch out what they connect to. One, two. Oh, already done. I could I could get it beaten down here or up there to actually have it accessible. And we could turn this into a personal station but I don't know if I like the style for personal stuff too much it's cool to explore but it's kind of twisted and 
Yeah, let's not forget that this uh, thing can go boom boom. Ah. Wonderful. Okay. Did I look into the chest? Yeah. Okay, this is a dead end. This is not... Yeah, the, the flames are pretty, but not strong. Man. Although it depends, like... This guy down here? I got it with a few flames. Oh, that was before, because he exploded. Let's see if I can defeat him before he explodes. <laughs> energy, 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 energy. Energy! Oh, come on. Huh? Huh. Okay, there's more experience. So, just in case. This looks like there is something important oh, 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 here. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Where did I come from? Where did I come from? Where did I come from? Holy shit! Whew. Okay. Um, how do we deal with that? Where's my step? Step? Ah. I thought for a second I lost it. You think? Uh, um. Yeah. Actually. I've got a funny idea. A funny idea that will always work without any major problem. I am so dead. Oh, for another reason than I thought. No! No! It did Um uh, for fuck's sake it did take my dirt away! Why did was my dirt f mm. Yeah, I didn't kill myself with a grenade, but the grenade killed me ultimately. Uh, we have to go down now to get all my stuff. Ah, I hate these guys. <laughs> I mean, they're not that far away. I just have to get in there again. Ow! Can you not? Can you not? Holy... Oh, when you shoot them even harder. I wish. That's that's my strongest gun for now. Uh, and even then, they just have to hit me like thrice and we're done so. So if you think this is a fair fight, no. So screw this bomb. We don't have any dirt. It's quite problematic, if you ask me. La 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 no 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 not the fine sand. La 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 la. Okay. I said okay. Enough fine sand. Ah. Okay, okay. Not for reals. Do, 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 
It's not too much for it to actually go through. Oh, eh? It's it's not taking damage. Why? Okay, new idea. Ah, shit! It's going too far away now. I need it to come back. Oh, like. Can you come back, please? I didn't mean it. Okay. And one is down. And we can deal with the other one as well. Ah! Ah! Okay. Both are good. Problem solved, problem solved. We've got them. Now we can do with them whatever we like. Oh boy. Wait, yeah, I, I remember this layout. This is a stranded space station. Huh? What happened to it? <gasps> Raygun, okay. Uh, let's try it on here. Oh, it's pretty. The shooting pattern is a little bit extra, but it do be pretty. Reagan. Works quite well. If only. I guess they are the reason why it's here in the first place. <laughs> Just making use of the pattern. Ah, oh, really? Come on. He's really not having the best of days. Poor little guy. Okay, this is way better. So there's a reason to switch um, the the firing style. Ah, what is this? Assault rifle. Oh, the one with the rocket launcher. Yippee! Let him live. I call her. I wonder if you can do it with these guys. Uh, maybe everyone who can be scanned. I cannot see. No, don't go down. Ah, oh, he's too far. Did we... Scan him! It's a trifangle. An aggressive, pointy space machine. They do have individual personalities. They're just all uniquely angry. <laughs> Why are they angry? Ice resistance, shadow resistance, radioactive resistance, poison resistance. So we can use ice, shadow and radioactive on them. So this one is actually the most effective gun I have on them. Ow! Oh my god, they do so much damage. I'm not gonna deal with him anymore. Uh, I kinda want the tank. Since we already have similar ones. They are all uniquely angry. Oh, since we're already on it? You know? Oops. This is a spine mine. Explodes whenever it meets someone new. No one knows how they aren't extinct already. Oh my god. Fire resistance. Oh, oh okay. So they are 
They don't like fire and they don't like re uh, electricity. Cool. Info I like. Uh, wait. Uh, I cannot go further. Okay, we're getting energy and health back. And once it's back, we can take care of him. I'm not gonna let him live because he's quite on in the way here. La 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 la. Okay. Nope. One further down. Ah, wonderful. See, studying your enemy is actually... <laughs> what is he doing down here? <laughs> what the fuck is he doing down here? I don't want him down here. That is a that's a mining depot. That that is a farmer. Um, he is not the problem. His his friends around here are the problem. Uh, I need my dirt. Give me my dirt. Okay, we're we're having a safe haven for ourselves here. So okay, currently he's loading up. And what we want is to no one else spawn in our radius here. Okay. There's not a single spawn area they could come in. So now we're just waiting. Yep. He reloads his guys. As long as they are unable to spawn directly onto my person, which should not be possible. And if... Let's just build ourselves completely in here. Oop. Uh, not completely completely. It seems like I'm suffocating myself. That's fun. The the green bar is his status bar. So basically as long as we are inside of his area, he will periodically spawn his guys and we will fill him up. Oh, that's quite bad. Oh, that's quite bad. Oh, that's quite bad. Oh, that's quite bad. I cannot hit him. Hi, Mark. Oh, for fuck's sake. He wasn't able to hit me either. Oh, that is so shit. I... That, <laughs> he wasn't able to hit me. I should have... I should have done this more intelligently. God damn. Now we have to... Now we have to fight them all from upstairs. And the, the thing wasn't even done. Oh, that's gonna be fun. Oh, that's gonna be a lot of fun, actually. Ow, leave me. Oh, shh. Uh. Oop, nope. Wrong button. Could you not? Just, just leave him there. I'm, I'm done. Uh, we get the loot uh, up there when we're back. Right now, we've got other problems on hand. Quite a lot of them, actually. <sighs> How do I deal with you guys? Oh, 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 oh. don't shoot me. Really? I missed you? <clears throat> That's it. Fire it is. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> One is down. More to go. With this? Does he see me? I think he saw me. Oh, that's bad. They saw me. They 
They don't know I'm here. They don't know I'm here. Uh, he knows I'm here. Ow. I cannot touch him. I cannot touch him. I cannot touch him. Uh, I don't have stronger weapons. <laughs> the stuff I have is shit. Are they all? They're all back down. Okay. Okay. Time to do this. In an intelligent way. that oh I don't have my grit I have my grenades on me uh finding them you need to find the weapons okay let's hope this works the way I want it to oh hey <laughs> Quite good for mining, it seems. Boom. 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 I fell. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Are we good now? <gasps> he has a flamethrower. That's unfair. I think that's against the Geneva Conventions or something. Um, okay, we're close. We're so close now. We just have to save our steps from these guys. Uh, since our grenades can't really go down there. Ah, all my stuff is down there. How do I get that? <laughs> Suggestion. <laughs> we cannot say that publicly. I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, I know. This might work. Well, this might work very slowly. Maybe if I can... Uh, more down. Yeah, this does not work. Yo, we've got four. Uh, two of them arrived. Uh, this will take a while. I hope my stuff doesn't despawn in the meantime. But one simple chainsaw guy is all it takes to to make the day bad. How bad is it? Oh, it does go down. We just can't hit them. Ah, oh, that's quite bad. Good fight, good fight. Yeah, exactly. Good fight. Uh, well fought, everybody. Uh, we've got 14 of these. of these I think I can go down now aha 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 and from here we're gonna build up like that with a little protective corner Little bit of home decoration here. Nothing to worry about. I escaped. Exactly. You will never get me. Okay. We're, we are quite fine. There's one guy over there. Which we have to take care of.
I think I can get to my stuff now. At least to a lot of my stuff. Well, that is quite a lot of stuff. Uh, wait a second. There we go. Uh, okay, now... How do I punish you? <clears throat> Beautiful. hey -o! Hey, hey. Ah! He saw me! He saw me! Woo! Okay. A little bit heated in here. Uh, uh, where's my dirt? Anyone sees the dirt? I have red sand. That works. I don't have all of my stuff, just most of it. Ah. So. Sorry if I'm a little bit unresponsive. Hey, there they are. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome, welcome. Uh, oh, yeah, these guys look tough. They look like a Metroid. <laughs> like a Metroid? <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> they they look like the, um, the suits from Metroid. <gasps> oh, we don't have that much time because we're on the desert planet. That's why I'm taking damage. I'm taking passive damage at the moment. So we have to make this quick here. <gasps> boop, 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 boop. Well, um, that's quite unfortunate. They are pretty quick to the guns. Holy. I don't even know how I would. Is there any... There's like a little box. <gasps> ah! I, 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 don't, I think we're good here. I think we're good here. Can I, can I beam up from the background we're good here <sighs> okay um what i mean with uh, we don't have much time is um i don't know if this is uh, vanilla i think this is actually from fracking universe we were on a desert planet and desert is very very hot so heat starts accumulating on our body and at the start we take like treat yourself Oh, thank you. Oh, that's nice. And uh, and it actually works. Yay. Oh, that's friendly. Glad, <laughs> glad you enjoy my stuff so much for that. Um, quickly, for, for, uh, for a moment back to the explanation before I lose my thought because I'm a silly guy. Um, so heat on the desert starts um, building up. So you get like 0, 0.00 point damage. Then you get a little more. We have passive health regeneration i think mm -hmm. and we have an ability that gives us more what hey and there's the follow thank you <laughs> hi hi <laughs> uh yeah and so at the end um the it, it builds up more so you get more and more damage each time we can survive a little bit of damage but if it's too much we just are Constantly in the low health and at some point just dead Okay, that's why I actually wanna like change planet. Let's see if we have something uh, Code has quite the opposite. Oh wait, that's not code That's chromatic Ah, <gasps> you oh, 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 um, um, um. I knew I forgot your name. Uh, I don't know man. Uh, you said you like pretty colors We are having pretty colors now Oh. Oh, shoot. Uh, 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 <laughs> this unusual planet is chromatic with a radioactive atmosphere. Our scanners detect rare mineral deposits. Recommended extreme radiation protection. Um. Um. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Well. <clears throat> no chromatic planet for now. We, we are not. <laughs> we cannot survive radioactive stuff. Ah, uh, this uh, starbound is amazing. Ah, uh, that makes two of us, three of us. I think I I convinced uh, I don't know that <laughs> that starbound is good game. 
Uh, uh, seems like... Seems like this whole star system is not really for us. Burger food restaurant. Huh. Alpaca ship. Cute. Astronaut ship. And ether, which I don't think we can explore here. Nope, they're not. They can breathe in space, but they're not resistant again. I, I can't even breathe in space. That was just my suit. Superstorm? Superstorm? No, that's new. We're irradiated, red desert, jungle. We can look around here at the binary star. We have an Eden, we have a jungle. Eden is actually pretty good for us. Red desert might be good as well. Maybe, maybe we have more luck here. Maybe here. Then again, we should still have that one, um, that one core, don't we? Before we do anything else, let's make use of that. Uh, 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 it's one of these doors. We do have the teleporter core, but not the titanium anymore. Funny how this works. And one of these doors is a WTM door. This is a simple backdoor station. And we should have the same with... Huh? WTM door station. We just need one more titanium. Should be easy peasy. Wait a second, did we find any weapons? They sometimes have titanium in them. Uh, we can get rid of the crew helmet. We have this like two times already. Ah. Ah, so much about that. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, we have titanium we can smelt. I just need one bar. Nope. Nope, we don't. But maybe. Ah, oh, I can show around then. That's the best uh, position to be in to show around. Ah, welcome to Steampunk, where we are gathering all the resources from idle factories, putting it through the fracking universe machines, and out comes... Ah, we do have. Wonderful. Let's put this in here. Oh, it doesn't put out because... Ah, we do have titanium bars! Yes, let's go. Um, one comes in here and the rest is for us. Wonderful. Uh, it doesn't take out the... Oh, because everything is full. Yeah. Give it a moment. Yep. Now the ash is out. Which means it goes in here. Ah, we got magnesite. But we don't have a single diamond so far from that. Still waiting on that. Still waiting on that. Anyway, with all the titanium we now accumulated here. Ah, we are one step closer to the doors. Finally. Oh, I cannot wait to use them. I am excited for them. The only thing we really need beside that, I don't think it's possible, I will look for if there's a mod for that, but like an item teleportation system that brings items from one world to another. There is a cell system, but I wonder if there's a transportation system. WTM door station. Let's go. <laughs> okay, it's a workstation, so it doesn't really give us anything for now. Oops. Ah, uh, those are all the doors. Double doors. And this is all of them. Ooh, pretty. They just cost... Oh, they just cost simple materials. Interesting.
interesting. Okay, let's try that out. Seems to be excited about making some doors. I actually am. Very, very much. We do have them in different styles. I would say we're going for something just for the test for now. What looks good for the test? The medieval... Ah, the medieval door was uh, for the other test. So let's use the large door. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we could have an elevator. Look at that. An elevator? The gothic is quite cool. The heavy is cool. The iron door works quite well. Frontier? I, I guess we can take the frontier. So, two frontier doors. I wonder how they work. No, no, no. I wouldn't be so um, happy with just normal doors. We're having special doors here. Um, I don't really have that much space in my ship to test these, but we're making use of them. One door over here. Other door right in here. Right now, they shouldn't really do anything. Uh. Security help. The beacon is a powerful tool to create your own teleporter network. It stores multiple coordinates and allows you to teleport to them. The largest part of it uh, its UI is showing you a list of the current stored coordinates. The bottom part of its co blah 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 Okay, we're gonna learn it. Status is ready. Bookmark. Okay. We need one of those bookmark floppies, it seems. Uh, expansion cards. Pass card. A pass card. Able to save passwords. An expansion card. It enables the random teleport module. And the last death... Last death teleportation module? I can just jump into where I died? That's actually pretty good. Huh? A server allowing you to back up bookmarks and transfer them. But ha what is the bookmark item? We've got a light beacon. A dispenser? A dispenser allowing you to create and share expansion cards. This seems like what we need. Oh, yeah, it is. It is. I remember all the times we just traded back to where we died. Now we can just take the weapon and go in. Problem if uh, what killed us is still alive. We have to deal with that, like the chainsaw guy. But if we go in with that knowledge, we might be able to build up some security on that. Okay, we do need batteries, the big ones, we do need iron, and we need silicon boards, which is the easiest part of it all. Let's just build one of each, uh, just to have them. Once we have the crafting station, we can... we're good. We're good to go. Uh, for batteries, we do need poi... lag? Sulfuric acid! Okay, we should have a lot of that, because uh, we did... Um, uh, we did make a lot of so far. Uh, 15. Actually. La 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 Okay. Now we go on to the sulfuric acid. And iron. Let's not forget the iron. It will be quite the irony to never pick it up. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna die. Iconic sulfur storage that is perfectly normal. Everyone should have that in their factory. Uh, why do we have just nine? Oh, because we don't extract it. So Sulfuric acid, 60. Ah, oh, that's quite a lot. Give me all of it. Uh, not that much more iron, but a little bit. That's quite good. And I don't think we need anything else at the moment. So, with all of that... It, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, the magnesium powder situation did not get better. But maybe we have some magnesite on our person. I do not see any magnesite. Oh well, maybe we don't. 
Oh well, oh well. What a shame. Yippee! Puns are the best. Sadly, whenever I think about puns, uh, no pun comes to mind. So I'm not really a pun provider, unless I have a list next to me where I write all of them down. <laughs> a teleporter configurator. A configurator to config configurate the OWT. Wait, are these OWTs? Uh, this is a beacon. Bookmark name. Uh, this is the right one. Edit. You first need to select a bookmark. So... This name is... Okay, this is right. And bookmark will be left. Well, this one is left. And the bookmark name, right. Vanilla interface, teleport. Um, edit? You first need to select the bookmark. Where do I do that? Export? Select the bookmark. What do you mean bookmark? Choose your destination. Okay, if I stand here... Save my position. Data card created. Okay, is it in my inventory? We've got a data card. Okay. Okay, good. That data card goes in here, uh, right? Import. Name left, a player ship. We can edit it? No, we cannot edit it. Bookmark edit, bookmark, bookmark name, left, edit, okay, and now when I teleport there, doesn't, doesn't do anything, if I click on it, doesn't do anything, oh, it's, it's gone, why is it gone? Huh? Vanilla interface? Ah, okay, we can normal teleport with this. We are still learning. We are still learning. I am missing something here. Hmm. Uh, I cannot craft any? What? What are we missing here? Um... Security station we don't need. Server would be cool. Oh yeah, the batteries, right. Let's make them. Oops. Uh, I needed four of them. Bing, bing, bang, bunk. For the dispenser. We do need the dispenser and I don't know if we need the server. I hope we don't need the server. But then I wonder what the server is for. So, dispenser instead of furnace for now. Oh, barely fits. Oh my! Um. Ha ha ha. That's quite a lot. Switch mode, switch output, set as default, remove, reset data, reset version. Uh. Mode manual output expansion card selects the data to be saved on a data card. Remove the currently selected destination. Save current data onto a card. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's create a new card. 
ex export? You must first select a bookmark. Okay, save my position. Import. Export. We select this bookmark. Export. Data card created. So it's saved in here and it's an item now, right? It's saved in here. And we've got the item. Okay, let's put the item to the thing down here and see what it does. Card slot. Okay, we do have a card slot. Let's see. Import. Okay. Okay, this is our first destination. Good. Um... Output expansion card, output data card, mode manual, mode auto. Uh, what does it do? Dispenser data, sec data, update override. What? Okay, maybe we don't need it. Wait, we fed its own card to itself, so we teleport to itself? How does the other one look like now? This one does not have a bookmark. Okay, let's feed it the same card and import. And export as well. Oops, select bookmark, export. Uh, so we can teleport to left? <gasps> Woo! Okay, the problem is if we teleport... Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Okay, wait. So... Save my position. This is the new one. Right. Okay. Just a moment. We are... Uh, deleting this one here. And instead we are inserting... Import. Uh, just in case we're exporting as well. To not make a mistake. So this one. Uh, teleport. This one. Teleport. Uh, teleport. Ah. Okay, that's quite good. Uh, for now, it, it looks worse than if we would use the connected doors. I know that. But the good thing is, they work for, for different worlds, so we can have them all over the place. And it does not clog up the main teleporter network, so we can have multiple teleporter networks going on. However we want. With these being actually quite easy to set up, I would argue. Um, bum -bum, I wonder... Okay, security we don't need because this is not a server. So this is pretty cool. I like that. I wonder what the server is for then. Um, this thing here. We need a lot more iron, which we don't have at the moment. Ah, it's fine. A server allowing you to back up bookmarks. Okay, that's cool. And to transfer them. Transfer to what? Huh. So basically we have we have the bookmarks for these two doors with us. Um uh, there. So what we can do now is uh, try to go to another planet and see how that would go. So let's build another door. Gothic one. I don't want to use them overall for um, between different planets because that would be... It would be a little bit weird to use the doors for that. The doors themselves are more for interplanet, so, so on the planet itself. Or especially with a ship. 
Uh, I don't. I think it's a little late for today, but we can. Um, ha next stream we can build multiple ships. Or one other ship. I, I wouldn't go that far to already say multiple. Okay, steampunk is on here. I wonder if we can have direct connection doors somehow that don't have a teleporter interface and only like, you know, um, the, um, the one other door they can connect to. So we're saving our... Pos oh, wait. The name of this is Steampunk. And we're saving our position. This is the steampunk card. Are they named? They're not named. Ah, data card steampunk. Okay, right and left. Uh, where do we want to? The right one. So we're importing this here. And exporting it again to have it back. And this goes right to the player ship. So if we press teleport now. We're going right back to, to the ship. Wonderful. Um, wonderful? Ha, ha here we are. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, and now on here, we can insert Steampunk on Kane 4. Ah. And export it again to have it back. And now we can have like multiple smaller networks. I like this a lot. Okay, um, for next stream we may to have to go around and find a few more teleporter cores because I think that uh, the other door networks that we can build, there are like two more door crafting stations. One is the Teledor station, door porters, okay, and the other one is a uh, stone here, it's red, ah, there it is, the back door station. Here you can get your back doors. I don't know what that means. They all have the same crafting recipe with some titanium and teleporter cores. And my hopes is that one of these stations builds doors so that you can uh, directly connect. So basically one door leads to only one other door um, with, without having to link them with wires. Because we can already do that, but the wire length is limited. This, this is pretty good for today. Especially for interworld teleportation, it's rather quick. Oops. And the doors can even be underground. So that means we can save somewhere near diamonds and easily go back to these doors over on the ship. So that means I can have like an emergency door. And whenever we are uh, down in the cave, uh, we just place down the door and teleport back to, <laughs> to the ship. Yeah, these look pretty good for that. Um, I'll take one of these. But that's... Okay, that's already pretty good, but it's only half of what we need. For what else we need, we would need six Dura Steels. And... I don't think we found any of the Dura Steels so far. Where even is Dura? Dura Steel is all over here. We haven't even had any Protocyte. Oh my god. Penumbrite. Oh my god. Circassium. Oh, I remember. Oh, I like this thing. And advanced alloy. Yep. We have quite a lot in front of us still. But that's alright. That's alright. It's good to have something to do. Now then, after all of that... Mm, it's time... Ah, for a few books. 
<laughs> we don't have to read all of them. I just want to get a little bit of lore down. Just a little bit. Just to get it out of our inventory, you know? Also, for everyone who came in a little later today, uh, that's our current farming location. I moved the cow from over here back here so we can have multiple of them or we can split this in the middle and have different animals running around since we have a few eggs and here we can put all of our different you know plants uh, from the way up here to here and I don't know where to put the automatic ones not quite sure yet I think something uh, some construct in the middle here but I'm not quite sure about that so that's basically what we did here today. La, 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 la. So it was a little bit of mining, it was a little bit of exploration, it was a little bit of building. We have a little bit of everything every stream. No, I'm not getting you a friend. Ah, rice seeds, oh thank you. Now get out of my room. Which is your room, but... Oh well. Okay... Oh god, who do we leave? Oh. First of all, let's get rid of all of the music thingies. Music... 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 La la la... And la la li... And one of them is blue. Pop top hanging. Oh. There we go. What are these? Um, ascendant tail. Those are avian. Sure, we can read about the bird people. So we're gonna take the avians. Uh, although the literature is not complete yet. This thing goes away. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna keep this here safe for now, so, uh, just because it's the same tab. Although no, I should keep it on me actually, in case we find someone to talk to. Yeah, that would actually be more clever. So. Ascendant's Tale 1. Three, four, six, ten, and eleven. Okay, instead of reading it in there, we're reading it where we can actually read it. And it's all avian stuff. One, wait, that's not all of them. One, three, six, and ten. One, three, four. And 11. They were missing. Are they here now? They're here now. No, 11 is not here. What the hell? A tasty beverage. Oh, it was already there. Okay, I've seen that. Um, Codex? Avian. Ascendant's Tail 1. Avian, by the way, if you can see this here, um, are the bird people of Starbound, the vanilla race. So their lore is rather in depth. Finally, the day has come. I have been chosen. Chosen to begin my training, to become what I have always aspired to be. Strangers and friends have walked this path before me, and they have all failed. I will not. I prepared for this. All my life I've prepared. My body is at its peak. I can endure the Ascendant training. I can display glory and honor. And I can please Cluex. I know it. My family supports me. My friends support me. But the only thing left is to get my head down and do this. Hey, right for the reading session. <laughs> so, Cluex. Uh, the first thing we don't know. Cluex is the avian's god. It's like the big bird in the sky, if you will. They're very, very religious. Uh, we're missing uh, tail two, so we're skipping back to the tail three. Last night, I lay awake in my bunk. Suddenly, 
rough hands grabbed me, a hand pressed to my mouth. Stop making us look bad, a voice whispered. It was too dark to see my antagonists. I tried to fight back, but they held me down. The next day I woke up and all my clothes had been shredded. Clearly I was mistaken to trust my peers. Their facade just that. A false friendship making se severe compet competitiveness. Well, if that's how they're going to play it, I can play Wrath too. I was not going to fall back on my family's money. But needs must. Oh well. Ascendance Tale 4. Our clipped consul Ly Lyazen came by today, and a well placed bribe ensured I won't have to be sharing a room with the others. No more worrying about late night visits. Next, I send word to my man outside the village. He is to deliver a message of great importance. We don't have five yet, so we skip to. S oh, wait, second page. Then. Our mental training began. I outclassed the others with ease, as I knew I would. My mind is the sharpest it has ever been. I could see them staring at me angrily, just willing me to succeed, planning what they're, they'd do to me when I did. They're going to have a rude awakening. We're gonna skip five? Up to six. Never before have I felt so powerful, so unstoppable. We took to the gladi gladiatorial arena and I threw down against opponent after opponent. When I was done, my entire class lay sprawled on the floor around me, groaning, looking at me with malice in their eyes. They are weak. Pathetic. <laughs> my joy was short-lived, however. I returned to the dorms to find my secret stash disturbed. My bottles of precious enhancement gone. A red feather set in their place. An a accident or a defined message? I knew who was responsible. Larbeaks. Perhaps the strongest avian in the class besides me. She's been gunning for me since day one. Now we're skipping quite a lot since we don't have 7, 8 or 9, so we're skipping up to 10. Hisheth was right. Why settle for joining Cluex if I survive? Once I leap off the tower, I have no way to give myself an advantage. It all rests in the hands of Cluex. I don't like those odds. I control my own destiny. Hisheth gave me a data pad with coordinates on it. I believe it to be a sector somewhere in Hyoto space. Go here, he said. Go here and follow your true destiny. And then he was gone. Finding a spaceship won't be hard. Getting off planet won't be hard. I have the finances and I have the means. Something in my heart is telling me that this is my destiny. Not to become some old god rotting on a sunborn throne beside Cluex, but to carve my own throne in my image. I will become an unstoppable force and the universe shall know the name Thornwing. Well, I wonder if we ever encounter a Thornwing, but then again the universe is huge. Become the new god just to spite them. Yeah, that, that that's a rough that's a rough treatment the avians have. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> a tasty beverage. Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. Having found myself accidentally enrolled as an avian ascendant, I figured I might as well make the most of it and go with the flow. It, uh, if it comes to it, and I've chosen to leap off the tower, I have the jetpack I borrowed from the mini knock. So exciting. Imagine that. Hiraki Korail, avian god. The first Yotl avian god in history. I'd wager. In the meantime, however, I accidentally started rummaging through one of my fellow students belongings. And what should I find? Greenfinger's delightful strength sap elixir. Now, I like nothing more than tasting Greenfinger's con concussions, but this Drink sap has always been one of my favorites. I couldn't resist taking a sip and ended up drinking the whole lot. So naughty. 
<laughs> I hope the avians who I borrowed it from doesn't mind. Wait, but it's... Okay, a Hyotl is one of the fish people, another race. So they let the Hyotl be the teacher who rummaged through their... That's not nice. Excuse me? All right. So... Whoop, 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 whoop. Do we have something similar here? USM, USCM we have. And we have a lot of smaller ones as well. Avian. Oh, we've got more avian stuff. Okay, more birdies. Uh, more of that. More here. To train the warrior. Uh, this is Hyotl. This is Hyotl. This is Hyotl. Harpy disease. Oh, right. The harpy disease is from one of the mods. Oh, interesting. Number 11? Number 11 was the, the beverage. The s stealing of the stash. By general munitions. All right. So we're going to read that as well. Of Earth Human Senses. We're going to read that. Voyager. Okay. Hayotl. 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 We have a lot of Hayotl here. And Mantisi. And some Mantisi to add to our collection. All right, then. So, first up, though, the avian stuff. So, we've got four. We've got five. And, whoops. An eight of Fight of Light, an avian introduction, and the truth about Cluex. Ah. Get out the data pad for the codex. Alright. Fight or Flight. I was exploring the ship, as you do, when I encountered what appeared to be someone's private laboratory, marked with keep out signs and warnings of delicate, breakable equipment within. I barged my way inside and began to fiddle with all the exciting bits and bobs. Imagine my alarm when, from out of nowhere, I was greeted by a dull robotic voice commanding me to prepare to die. At first, I thought the glitch had finally sent assassins to demand retribution for past transgressions, but the truth was much worse. A small, misshapen robot stood before me, vibrating on the spot. It looked like it had been made out of a kettle and some saucepans, but its eyes glowed red with, mal <coughs> with malevolence. I knew this wasn't it. Uh, this was it. Me? Or the robot. Live or die. Screaming, I ran from the room, knocking machinery hither and thither. Avians stared at me as I ran through the ship, being pursued by the robot. Nobody even stepped in to help. Eventually, I had to throw myself over the side, plummeting down to meet the ground below. Thankfully, the ship was passing over an outdoor apex marriage ceremony, and the wedding cake broke my fall. <laughs> a narrow escape. All right. The Apex, on the other hand, are basically these here, the monkey people. Very, very advanced race. We call... I Well, we call the monkey people because that's what they look like. But basically, their race is... I don't know of, if of human nature or of uh, humanoid nature. But thanks to space travel and gene therapy, their hair growth, yeah, it became much. So they're basically very, very hairy humans, if you will. I could you have a more tasty landing than that? Oh, please. Yum, yum. Though, avians are feathered birds. Well, humanoid birds. So, you will have to wash this out of the feathers. Blah. The truth about Cluex, the god of the avians. Well, it is the case that I may have... May have ex blah. I cannot read anymore. While it is the case that I may have escaped from my own self-preservation, 
It is important I do not forget my larger mission also. Cloex is not real. I will prove it. If I can do this, I can free my people. I've heard of other species whose gods are celestial. Cloex, however, is flesh and blood. And yet, he has not been seen for many, many years. I will discover why. I will uncover the secret behind the Cloex deception, but also flee for my life. Huh? Wait, Cloex is an actual being? I don't think we will ever find out what it is with Cloex. I, I'm i gonna read every book. If at the end I have no idea about this god, um, well, bad. I'm gonna get a mod for that, but that's interesting. I thought it's just like, like, you know, like the Christian god, the being in the sky. Fight Cloex. <laughs> Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Let's see what the game has to handle for us. Um, an avian introduction. So for everyone who doesn't know the avians, this is perfect for you. For centuries, the avians soared through the skies, born on wings of feather and flesh. They were a proud, peaceful species, respectful of their traditions and gods. So respectful, in fact, that when their gods, the Sunborn, spoke to them, they listened. They listened and obeyed as one god, Cluex, the last of the Sunborn, commanded their elders to clip the wings of the lower case avians? Holy! Wait a second, the. the okay. The avians are not media traditional harpies. Their wings are... No, wait, they are. Wait, wait, wait yeah, they, they kind of are. Their wings are their hands. So that means... That, that's as if... Um, that's as if someone of, uh, uh, of any religion would come by to your house and be like, Hey, low-class citizen, I'm gonna take your arms away. Uh, not the weapons, no. Your arms, straight from your body. You, you don't deserve them anymore. <laughs> Holy fuck! They obeyed, even as the flightless became obs obstracized, oppressed, living only to serve Cloex. They obeyed as their elders erected tall towers from which the, uh, from which the ascendants, the chosen flightless, where to leap? To leap! Of a tower! Without wings! They obeyed as one by one the ascendants hit the ground, never to fly again. Cluex, they were told, was pleased. Holy fuck! That's not a religion, that's a cult at this point. Uh, so how do they carry things? I, I think their wings are more elaborate than that. Um, like, I mean, it's sprites. So you cannot really tell in this game, but I, I think they they have fingers and the rest of the arm is wing-like. Or, or like they have... They, they should have like 10 fingers on each hand. Like five for each wingspan and five for grabbing, if you will. Like, I don't know. I don't know. We can only speculate. Gave me wings, I may consider it. Damn, this is dark, what the hell. I, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> we have a religious oppression, it seems, but that's not the only kind of oppression we have. I'm gonna show you the next storyline of another race. Should follow T instead of Cluex. Oh, don't worry, at the end of the day, they won't have any other uh, choice, because we're actually a bene benevolent. Uh, community. Uh, since we're already on it, let's go with the USCM, which should be the Apex, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Aegean. Uh, we're not doing Aegean right now, we're just doing the Apex. One. 
two, two, three, and what appears to be eight. Yeah, me too. It's it's really in depth. I like that. I like that. If we ever do a Skyrim uh, playthrough, remind me that I read every book there as well. Because funny. Also, we do have the time for that. It's we have four and a half hour. Yeah, one one more half hour and this 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 is good. Uh, here side effects. Wait, what? Who's the USCM? USCM personal log is the name. Oh, it's humans! Oh, I thought the USCM was Apex. Okay, uh, we've got the personal logs and a new policy. Uh, USCM personal log number 12572. Un unencrypted quantum transmission received from USCM uh, Sandcom Earth Earth Oh A message from Earth Begin message All stations Earth under heavy attack Orders are to hold fast Good luck End of message Right The Earth is kind of in trouble at the moment USCM log 54126 Received communication for the first time in years. Wasn't Earth, but someone claiming to be a high hotel, saying they were outside our door. It was really cold outside. Not falling for that one. Ignored it. Still confused how they knew our transmission frequency. Okay. Personal log number 58719. Ugh, stuck in the bunker. Again. Begged my superior officer to let me go and explore the terrain, but he was having none of it. It's hostile, he says. No, it isn't. I see other species out there all the time. Just yesterday, I saw a walking, talking bird hanging out with large, with a large monkey. <gasps> oh my God, that's a first. That's one of the first messages when the human came in contact with the other races. This guy hasn't seen any avians or apex so far. 50,000 earth locks to find. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, they just numbered 1, 2, 3 uh, here. And 8 is something else. It's a new policy. A new policy. After 7 long years, the USCM has decreed that our bunkers shall be opened to friendly fire from the outside. Uh, <laughs> to friendly life! To friendly life from outside! As I'm sure many of you are aware, numerous species uh, turn up at our door, and we refuse them entry. It is apparent that many of them believe our bunker to be some kind of shop. As such, we have decided to allow them access to take a look around. Perhaps we can even enlist a few new members, should the need arise. Okay, so this one is after the last personal log. So this is when Earth... Okay. The bunkers? Earth was in a very shitty uh, situation if everyone need to, uh, needed to be bunkered down. But this is the first contact with the other species. Interesting. For most of these logs, I have read a few um, before, but for most of these logs, it's quite new for me what they uh, have in store. Oh, we missed number six. Oh no. Um, now which of these is number six? Oops, oops. Ah, not codex. Uh, oh. Number nine 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 nine. Nine 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 nine. Please let me go home. I'm tired and I miss my games consoles. <laughs> Plus the other soldiers are really annoying. Semper Fi. Alright. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. 
Is Earth still alive? Okay, you haven't been here for the intro of the game. Let's say it's complicated. Earth is still alive. But it's, but it's kind of under heavy siege and we have to save it. I mean, we are taking our sweet time with that, but in the end we have to save it. Oh, that's Abigail. Let me go home. I'm tired and I miss so many tea streams. <laughs> uh, tea streams and video gaming. Let's go. The Harpy Disease. Uh, oh, we can read it here, okay? As for right now, we must study this disease under the guise of creating a cure. We... Under the guise of creating a cure. Oh, wonderful. We do not truly care about a cure for the human race. We simply want to know how to undo biological changes. Possibly even understand how this can be used. Our tests up Okay, no, I'm reading this in the right window. <laughs> GPS, go away. Code it. Harpy disease? Harpy disease? Is it here? Uh, uh. Uh, here maybe? No. Oh, we cannot read it in there. Interesting how that works. Okay, so harpy disease. Let's just ignore that for now. By general munitions. Ah. Oh. Okay, this is uh, such a thing again. It's cut up at the at the top. I don't like that. Let me read it in here now. This doesn't scroll down. I've got by general munitions. Okay, I don't know why the harpy is not in here, but we can ignore that, I guess. Or is it with the avians? No, it had to be with the humans, but it's not here. Dang. Okay. Attention! Mother Earth is, Mother Earth is rolling in her grave at this very moment. Why? Because she has to watch pathetic dirtbags crawl around this galaxy with nothing but their dead grandfather's pea shooter to defend themselves. Centuries of war weren't fought in mankind's cradle for nothing, you may ask. Sarge, how do I get my hands on something I can I can afford? Quality weapons cost a for a quality weapons cost a fortune these days. Who gave you permission to speak private? You buy General Munitions Co. Weapons, stamped steel receivers, glorious wooden furniture, all assembled by hand to bring you the most reliable firearm you will ever get your hands on, ready to eat through our crisp brass, like a meal at a fine restaurant. What are you waiting for? Hard times make strong men, and these are hard times if we've ever seen it. Make yourself stronger by putting a proper weapon in your capable hands. Buy general munitions. <laughs> but sir! <laughs> sir, I tried to eat it. I didn't get the restaurant thing. What was up with the restaurant? The, the ammunition doesn't taste too good. I think I'm poisoned now, sir. So your kidney for a gun, simple. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> uh, these are hard times indeed. Hard, hard times. Off Earth human senses. Okay, it's a human thing. Off Earth human senses. Volume number 329. Page 804. Schedule number 164. System, Miss Muffin. Planet, Miss Muffin number 3. Sediment, Ruby Wood. Two families, equating four people total. Schedule number... What? I wonder if we can find these planets. This is the naming scheme for Savon Planet, so I wonder if we can find them. Sir, the ammunition tastes kind of spicy. <laughs> 
<laughs> One wrong chomp and gushes. Boom. Mm -hmm. Census complete. Final total of humans dwell dwelling of Earth. Uh, 50,802,433. That's quite the number. Total humans leading nomadic existence unknown. Which makes sense. I don't know why they even put that in. Whoops. Next up, the Voyager Company. Ooh, we're reading about the whole company here. Okay, it's human. Human. The Voyager Comp... Huh? It's not here? The Voyager... Well? Oh. Okay, missed it. Damn. And Greenfinger's notes, loose ends. Who is Greenfinger? This is a very late book. We haven't read anything uh, from 1 to 12 so far. This is... Oh, this is a Florin book. The plant people. Well then. Greenfinger's notes, loose ends. Unhappy to have left the Apex compound. Sharing our species secret is not something I take lightly. My acquaintance of the Apex scientist, Dr. Lux, can be trusted. I have other faith in her. And yet, this... Uh, there are way too few S for it uh, being a... Uh, Florin. Well, let's uh, continue. I can leave up to the faith. I was barely off planet before putting the call in to Thornwing. The Ring of Thorns have been dispatched. Thornwing? Wait. Wait, wait. Re Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't Thornwing the one that uh, that we read about before? Keep that in mind, Thornwing. Uh, the Ring of Thorns have been dispatched. No loose ends. It is how we've survived thus far. And how we will continue to survive. Thornwing. 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 Ah, I'm scared I'll go over it. I know that we've re Where are the names? There have to be names around here. Shall know the name Thornwing. Hey! Okay, so it's one continuous story. Maybe a whole crew out there of an avian and a. Wait, so there is a crew with Thornwing, with uh, Greenfinger, and an Apex. What was the Apex name? Dr. Lex. So that's a whole crew. Cool. Man, that's okay. I like that. And once we have all the books, we can go through the whole library again at the end, like in three years, <laughs> and just see uh, how it all connects together. I like that. Just from a random, just from a random uh, b -b 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 uh, plant person, name as Florin, just from a lo Florin logbook. And now we have all of the, all of these. So we're going away from the plants and the birds and we're going to the fishies. This is all, this is Mentezi. We already have some Mentezi stuff. Avican, mm -mm -mm. no. Oh wait, this is different. This is Iziati. No, this is Red Ace. Okay, Red Ace we already uh, read a little bit of as well. This is Hayato. 
This is a genian. Okay. Uh, flesh weaving quarterly? Floor and interior design. Ah, floor and as well. Okay. And Mentezi. Okay. First up are the fish people of the vanilla starbound, the Hayato. We've got the evolution of the Hayato. We're going one by one, so we're not missing anything. Uh, here they are. The first book we found of them. The evolution of the Hayato. As Hyalotl were originally a land-dwelling species, our biology was undergone rapid evolutionary changes in the several thousand years since adopting a subaquatic lifestyle. This is possible due to our naturally fast genetic metabolism, short lifespan and frequent generational turnover, compared to other life forms. After initially relying on Hayato technology to aid in swimming and breathing, our bodies began to develop fin-like protrusions and retractable webbing between fingers and toes. Cool. Scary, but cool. It is still a necessity for Hayato to breathe air, but our increased lung capacities allow for prolonged sessions of deep sea activity, and when appropriate can be utilized as a Bion, bi, bion, as a swim up aid. Modern Hayato also have the ability to see clearly in both air and water unaided, despite the differences in density. Okay, why did we find glass, glasses then for them to wear? Well, okay, next up is the elements of nature. Um, oh wait, oh there was more pages. Oh we did, okay, we did. The elements of nature. A Hayato warrior must be cunning as they are swift and deadly, using everything they have to their own advantage, including the environment. The elements of nature are just as deadly, if not more, so than your own blade and using them to their fullest extent is what differentiates a tadpole <laughs> from a master. I hate that word, not again. <laughs> Fire, ice, electricity, poison, all of them lived in peace until the electricity nation attacked the others. <clears throat> so sorry. Fire, ice, electricity, poison, all of them strong in their own way. In this training regiment, I shall teach you how to, how you can use the elements to their fullest. I hate the word because I always uh, say the wrong thing. I say tap, tap, tap bolts. No, that's right now. T tap dolts. I, I I started saying tap dolts, and I got laughed at. Now I say tap bolts. That's why in Bardo's Gate I say warm, warm. <laughs> I need a break. I need a break. I hope it's not that many books anymore. <laughs> Fire is a ferocious and destructive element. While it won't go wrong, it does have its own weaknesses, such as water suffocating it. However, when sufficiently fueled, it will rage beyond these constraints and become even more deadly. Coating an enemy in oil, for instance, will cause a roaring flame that not even water can stop once they've been burned using this element's counterpart, ice. It will cause a shock and deal potentially fatal blows. Ice is a cold and creeping and weakening force. It will slow anything to a crawl, though it can do much on its own. While often a warrior can take advantage of this, it can be honed to an even stronger, colder state. Dousing them with water will cause the frost to freeze over, causing blows to be shattering to the opponent with any element. Using fire will cause your blows to even more crippling. The cold is a creeping killer to be sure, but a potent one. 
Electricity is fast, leaping, and spreads quite easily for an element. A shock target will shock its nearby allies. Though when charged with water, its abilities are boundless. Leaping from foe to foe to foe to foe like an ever-expanding ripple, all the while shocking the affected foe like its brethren. Electricity will not go wrong when your foes are many. With it, you can clear an entire battlefield with one swift blow and a little bit of patience. A poison is a lethal and potent element that weakens an opponent from within. A poison target will be weakened and slowly perish from within, unless they have an antidote. There will be no saving from them from their fate unless it runs its course. Though with contaminate contaminants like swamp water can cause the poison to strengthen, weakening the enemy until they can barely fight back. No need for defense when this occurs. Go all out and they will fall. Know which one is effective, where and how to strengthen it, and nature's strength is yours to command. With this knowledge of the survival world and your own wisdom, you can strike down any foe with ease. Remember, Tadpole, your skill with your brain is just as important as your skill holding a blade. Soon you shall be a master warrior, fit to protect nature and your kin. <laughs> I, I love the stories. Okay, we learn that the Hylotl are a very... very they, they are two-sided. They are two-sided. One side of them is very traditional warrior-like, like, like um, samurai. And the other side is... I hope we find that in the books. What I can describe it with is weeps. They are weeps. So they are basically very Japanese, if you will. The peaceful temple. Temple. Again, this is number 12 in the line, but we don't have the previous books. Oh, where's the temple? Huh? Temple? It doesn't show up every uh, book in here. They have temples. The peace. Wait, the peaceful temple is a. By Hiraki Korail, Hylotl Adventure. So it's an avian manuscript, but in a Hylotl wrote about it. Okay. Okay. So this is for the birds again. The Peaceful Temple. I mean, it did make sense to be a Hylotl book, because both the avians and Hylotl have uh, temples, but okay. Lost and in need of guidance. The navigational kind, not... The spiritual kind. I made my way into an impressive avian temple. Immediately I felt its peace, like a calm had descended over me. Which makes sense. I mean, after all, the Hylotl like the traditional, and an avian temple would have the same feeling for them. I walked the stone hallways, gazing up at the statues of the giant bird, occasionally greeting priests and worshippers alike. They seemed pleased to see me. I ascended the temple and grew tired, my very legs almost giving out after days of adventuring and fleeing. At the top I found a stone bed. Priests milled about, but they did not seem to mind when I lay down. In fact, they began to cheep and cheer. One of them handed me a delicious sweet tasting drink. Soon I drifted off to sleep. I don't know, this sounds kind of scary. I wouldn't want to be in that situation. <laughs> this is either they're just very guest friendly. Or they just either poisoned or sleep drugged the guy. And the next uh, moment he, uh, he wakes up on the cliffs of the temple and has to jump down to imminent death. Blood for the blood god. Th th this suits, yeah, this suits the avian so much. Absolutely. The Shinin religion. Ooh! Ooh, the religion of the Hylotl. I didn't even know they had that. Okay. Codex. Everything as it is. There is no malice nor love from nature. 
That idea is the core tenet to our religion. Shinemism is, as it's known, is a religion based around nature itself. The Shinen religion worships the spirits of nature we call Fuchi. They are depicted as deep sea animals. Some look like large fish, some jellyfish and serpents as well. Many even look like hominids. Many though are alien to many basic forms of sea life. Fuchi are the very forces of nature themselves, or more so the embodiment of them. They can bring us prosperity as much as they can bring us disaster. We as a species spend so much time protecting and respecting nature is, du is due to this. By appeasing and protecting nature, the Fuji feel safe, so they bring prosperity. It is said that if a Fuji feels threatened, it will bring disaster. They are much like animals, as varied and chaotic as nature itself. However, willful. Oh, so the Halata believe in some more druidic spiritualism. Fuji inhabit every part of the universe, including space. Just living as an animal does, only really caring about survival. We believe that all life has descended from these beings. It is said that the Fuji are the simplest form of life, closest to the universe. That is why they exist on a different spectrum as us. As such, they are made from the most basic parts of the universe and have such a connection to the natural order. Elementals. Basically, elementals. Uh, the Hylotal Stewardship. Alright. Does it... It doesn't turn up by itself, so I have to close and open the codex every time. Okay. Ooh. Hi. Hylotal Stewardship? Hylotal... Man, there was a lot of story. Where is it? Is it because I opened when this thing was open? Uh-oh. 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 Uh, let's see if it's one of the other races again. Again. I love the stewardship. Ah, uh, ba 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 Damn. Okay, um, let's see if we can find it in the old... Where do we have the old codex? Ah, there it is. Ah, I don't like that. Uh, yeah, because this is not... Uh... Oh, it's not even here anymore. Oh, great. Yeah, the codex is kind of bugged on the vanilla part. I don't know which mod did that. Sorry about that. And now that not every book seems to uh, come up in the codex of Wrecking Universe. I can close everything up and try again. No. Sad, sad. We don't get any every book, but most of them. To train the warrior. Ah, there we go. For obvious reasons, we are just reading what uh, turns up in here. To train the warrior. A health of warrior must be trained in many arts, not only those of the martial kind that must be used in the defense of their kindred, but also those that serve to keep the fighters centered. Philosophy must be their refugee, so that they might come to understand the world and their place within it. They must accept the notion that all living things are intertwined, so uh, should recognize themselves to be as mighty as the greatest beast and as fragile as the smallest bug. But, 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 I'm just a fragile little fanboy. What? Uh, 
and this is empty? A pleasant town. Oh, this is by Hiraki again. Okay, so it's another species. Not the Hirotl. Uh, but which? A pleasant town. A pleasant town. Apex. Okay, monkey people. I find myself in a mini not controlled Apex town. But, oh, control is such an ugly world. word, isn't it? The Apex here are also polite and friendly. They bow and grovel as I pass. My mini nog and turret only occasionally having to knock them back. It's all very exciting. An audience with big ape. Oh wow. I visit. Greenfinger to... Greenfinger? Greenfinger? <gasps> Greenfinger! Wait, that's the one from the crew. With, to, together with, with, with Thorn Feather. Uh, thorn Wing. So Hiraki is part of the crew as well. Okay, cool. Small world apparently. <laughs> yeah, I like it as well. <laughs> uh, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Told me he's heard about my exploits and would like to pick up, to pick my brain. I mean, gosh, I've heard rumors about Big A picking people's brain. Oh, uh, but I don't think it means that this time. <laughs> it always feels like... Uh, what was the name again? Hikari? Hiraki. It always feels like Hiraki is in grave danger. I don't, I don't know. On the surface, it's also pleasant and nice, but down below, it always feels like uh, their surroundings are just dangerous and deadly. Holy. The potion guy? Oh, oh yeah, the, the potion guy, exactly. <laughs> okay, oh, and Florin. Right, we're going through all the races now, the plants. Okay, Florin furniture. Rules? But this is flesh weaving. Fight other Florin, kill big prey, win shiny trophy. I do have a feeling that I bug some entry. It, it takes all the entries, but it bugs out when the codex is still up when I select. That might be it. Oh, no, living in fear? No. Damn. Alright. So keep that down when we open up new ones. So, and these are the modded races. I would say we keep them for another time. I don't want to intermingle them with the vanilla races right now. So, we can start next stream with that if you remi remind me. Holy hell. So, we learned today. Avian, basically very religious and... Oh wait. Right, tea leaves. Dried up tea leaves, right? What am I... What can I do with them? Didn't I add a mod that adds... Recipe browser! <gasps> tea leaves? Input. No recipe found? Reset. Oh. Okay, what about wheat? Ah! Yeah, it does show us what we can do with it. Food, of course. Quite a lot of food. Page 102. Wheat basket uh, turns into wheat. Oh, uncrafting as well. Interesting. Now, how do we go for multiple pages? Ah, here, the arrows. Cool. And we just click on one and ah. Okay, recipe browser is cool. 
We, we can use this quite a lot for... Actually, yeah. Wait, uh, if I put in... If I put in... Do we have any iron ore on us? I want specifically iron ore. Iron ore? Uh, let's sort. I don't think we have iron ore. Dang. Um, what other recipe I know of? Silicon. Ah, let's see. Let's see if we can uh, have this from fracking universe. Ah, input history as well. Quite cool. Oh, it just shows crafting recipes. It doesn't show the machinery recipes, which is really cool because this means we have uh, the one monitor uh, that we can put on the wall for uh, all the conversion stuff and this here for crafting recipes. Nice, and we can craft oil into other stuff, but not out of other stuff. A red toy block? Wait, what? <laughs> okay. Cute. Can't really do that much with oil, so this is rather for conversion. Nice. Uh, trying to make? Well, what do you mean trying to make? With the iron? No, just uh, the iron is just because I know what to um, uh, what it can turn into. Shoo. Give me stuff. Stuff? It didn't give me any. Ah, pixel. Thank you. Okay, that's the books. That's everything. Ah, oh, that's wonderful. Ah, oh, I love it. Well, he's sleeping. I'm sitting weirdly beside him. <laughs> and you know what? This is perfect. Oh, what a long day. What a good start in the week. What do you think? <laughs> I like how this went. Aww. Yeah.